the amount of blisters I've gotten from Mario Party, <laughs> man. One, right? Yeah, <laughs> my uh, God. Whoever designed the sick like, fuck. <laughs> sick. yeah, uh, like he just hated humanity. He woke up and he chose violence. Gamers, welcome <laughs> to this very special episode of Trash Taste. I'm your host for today, Gamer, and with me is Gamers and Gamers. <laughs> How are you doing, gamers? Was, it wasn't that funny. I mean, it was, <laughs> Gone says gamer, man, loses it. <laughs> that was just the most forceful gamers. I was like, oh shit. As a gamer, I was not prepared for As that. As a gamer, yeah. you're not prepared. So we all play video games, we're yes. gamers, right? So I thought today that we could talk about our tastes in gaming. Cause I think we, we spoke about what we like to play and, and all that, but we haven't yeah. actually sat down and reviewed each other's gaming properly tastes. Properly talked no. about it. Or at least yeah. tell each other our gaming tastes. Yeah, so we've had like the anime episode where we've properly broken down our anime tastes, even though we've talked about anime before. And yeah. we're gonna be doing something similar today. So we have made three three by threes for our games. We don't, unfortunately we don't have a my game Gaming list, which probably would Why have made is that it not a thing. <laughs> I don't know. That should be a thing. Oh, I'm sure there's like an. I'm, sh I'm sure there's it. a thing of that, but it's just not. I, I don't know. It's just not as prevalent in the gaming community. I feel. I guess uh, it's because it takes longer to finish a game than yeah, finish an anime. Yeah. And it, 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 I'm, I'm gonna be honest. It made this a lot harder because <laughs> I couldn't remember. Like most can't, of the games I've like, played. I literally can't remember anything. Gant's not a gamer. <laughs> <laughs> it's just proven. Like, I'm not looking forward to this episode because I'm probably gonna have the most boring gaming taste Look, out of Gant, everyone. Gant's list is gonna be like the top telling, uh, top selling games of all time. <laughs> that's, so, that's it. Wii Sports nine times. <laughs> Tetris, Wii Sports. <laughs> like it, for, for me, like the, we were making our three by threes at the same time. Mm. These two finished within 10 minutes. And I, after about half an hour, I'd, I'd made six and I'm just like, are there nine games I really care about? I don't Have fucking I know. Have I finished nine games? Wait, is there, is there nine games I care about? What are, what are you, a, a person in retirement home? Like, no, there's it's more a, than nine games. No, the, I, I have games that I played uh, that I enjoyed, but like games that like really meant something to me or games like I think back and have like a positive right, memory of. Right. Just like, <laughs> you just think that, I hated it. <laughs> Every the, game I played. This the 50th time this has happened now where I didn't enjoy yeah, it. There, there were just so many games where I'm just like, yeah, that was a game I played. You know, I, I, I enjoyed Mama, my- Father, please stop giving I, me shitty games. I, I, I don't enjoy, want to play any shitty games. I enjoyed my time with it. I don't know. I'm it's, excited for this one. Cause I feel that, you know, with anime, you guys are like definitely the resident experts, right? Mm -hmm. I feel like gaming, this is like, this is- Yeah, the, like the, your time to show. <laughs> the, the reverse, the, the roles have been reversed. I mean, yeah, look, I if there's anything we know about the gaming communities that they love to shit on other people's opinions, <laughs> right? It's like, I, I, I feel like regardless of what we put on here, there's going to be at least one person being like, Amateur, <laughs> fucking normies right here. Oh, definitely, definitely. I mean, it depends, you know. I mean, I'm fully prepared is. for it. I'm fully, I fully realize I'm a normie when it comes to games, so I'm okay with that to be no, honest. No, you think you're a normie? I think I am <laughs> the most normie gamer the of all awards. time. Let's considering the, the list of games that I've actually completed mm. is like, I can probably count on my hands. <laughs> Wait, why? Why do you not complete games? I don't, I find it super, super hard to complete games. <laughs> it, just, it needs to be like a really good no, game. No, no, that's the right? thing, that's the thing. Most of the, like, because I tried to find a criteria of like what I would put on my list, right? Yeah. And for anime, it was anime that I have at least rewatched once. Right. For gaming, I was just like, um, if I complete that, if I complete the game, then that's like a fucking <laughs> S tier game in my eyes. Because if if it's if if I get to the end of the game, it must be a truly special I mean, imagine game. Imagine if people did this for like movies. They're like, <laughs> it's a good movie if I get to the end. Yeah, like, yeah normally, ten out of ten. Normally, I log off. It's like, it's like reading an IGN review, being like, I finished it. Nine yeah. out of ten. No, no, because like, because like for me, for me, like the most. Most of most games, I get to that seventy percent mark of completion, mm. right? And at the seventy percent mark, it's like you've you've discovered most of the things the game can do for you, right? And like you've I unlocked know. most I of the know. abilities. There's some games where it's like they literally don't end until they end. Like like which games? I don't know. Any on your list like, or just any? Um, some of my games. Uh, yeah. I'm talking actually. about like like online games. Well, if you're doing like, story games, you know, obviously you can't just quit seventy percent of the way and be like, I've seen the story. I mean, like they're, they're I mean, a, you'd, be, you'd be surprised. I'd be surprised. <laughs> I mean, j j that's not a story. That's that's a fucking dictionary. Of, like, you know, unusual knowledge. Right. Yeah, that, and that's why I think for me, um, story's a massive thing because if it doesn't have a good story, mm. I ain't finishing the game. No, if I agree with that. If it don't have good gameplay, I ain't even starting the game. And I, I'm like, I, I realize I'm such a fucking picky gamer. <laughs> Where if there's, if there is just one aspect of a game that just doesn't mesh with me immediately, right. then I just end up not playing it. Is there anything that annoys me more than a picky eater? It's a picky. <laughs> Game. 
<laughs> Finish your game. I don't know, especially, especially now when I just don't have time to play games. If yeah. I'm playing a game, I play like, I, th I think I play one or two games a year. Right. Uh, new games. Like it's, it's hard not to just go back to my comfort food and play games I've played before. I have, right. I have such a bad habit on that where if there's ever like a new game that just comes out, mm. I don't. It, it doesn't matter if I just started a new game three days prior. Yeah. I'll just be like, I'm, I don't want to play with you anymore. <laughs> and then I just play that new, like, so just three days ago, as of us recording this, the yeah. new Monster Hunter game came out. Right. right? Mm. And I was like, well, I was going to play that anyway. So it's fine. But I was really busy up until these last three days. So I only just picked it up yesterday. Right. But before that, like right before Monster Hunter came out, I had got the new Super Mario game right. as well. So- I had played that new Super Mario game for like literally four days. <laughs> and then I was like, Monster Hunter's out. All right, see ya. <laughs> I, I just do, immediately I started sometimes. a new game. I mean, if it's like a really, uh, you know, a highly anticipated game that you're waiting for, yeah. I mean, I get it. Oh know? no, but I'm like that with anything, right? Like if there's oh. like a new game on like Steam, that's like, oh, it's 20% off. I guess I'll give it a go. Like, I feel like I'm one of those, like, if, if we're comparing it to like people who eat food, right? Yeah. I'm definitely one of those people who just takes little bits off of the buffet. Mm. but doesn't actually finish what's on their plate yeah. before they go onto it. Whereas there are some people who are like, no, I'm getting one thing and I'm not going to move on to the next well, meal until I finished it. Right? Well, wait, okay. So, you know, when it was like Christmas or your birthday, mm -hmm. yeah. and you, you ever asked for more than one video game? Did you ever do that? No. You never asked for more than one video game? No. Oh. I, I I did, but it was like a Hail Mary. I'm just yeah. like, may, may, maybe maybe this is the year that all happened. May, maybe Santa really right. loves me this year. And then if you get like two or three games in one, you know, yeah. birthday or Christmas, it's like, yeah. how do you, whoa, 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 yeah. where, who do I begin with? How do I split this time evenly? Like, that, sounds, I, that sounds like I, a first world I, problem That is the me. most first world problem. I, I think my seven year old life peaked when I got an entire game console for Christmas. I got an yeah. N64 and that was like, man, my career's peaked. I am, life is never <laughs> gonna peak after this. What am I, what am I even living for, man? Yeah, I was, I was like that when I got the Game Boy Advance when I was like five, I was like, <laughs> So much power in my hands. Every other every other thing I've ever done out yeah. the window. Cause like one, one of the big problems I had when making my three by three was that I, there were games that I knew I loved as a kid, mm. but then I don't remember fuck about them. Like, well, there's mm. there's some uh, there's somewhere if you ask me to play them now, I'm sure I could be like, I don't remember exactly what happened. All I know is that I put way too many hours into yeah. this. Like mm. I, so uh, yeah, I mean, should we just get into that? Then we can talk about other gaming stuff after. <sighs> yeah, sure, sure, sure. Let's sure. Get into it. Should we get trash con? I think our names are still in the box. All right. Oh, are they? Are they? Are they? Let's figure it out. Okay. They are. Well, well let's find out who's going to be roasted Dude, first. You, do you want to go first? Oh, okay. As, right. as, I can as, see the names. Okay. Right? Let, me, <laughs> let, me, let me not look. Would you like to go first? Yeah, yeah, okay, I can okay, see okay. literally my name. <laughs> and the first one is. Oh, it's gone. It's gone. Oh, it's me. Right, okay. Perfect. I guess we maybe. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Start, starting things off easy, I see. I sure. can't wait, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> is there anything you boys expect on this gaming list? I have a film that a League normie. is gonna be on there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have a few, yeah. <laughs> uh, as far as anything else goes, League I expect to be on there. Right. Um, I don't know what other games you've played. <laughs> you never talk about video games. I don't talk about video games often, do I? <laughs> you're like you're like hentai, anime. <laughs> hentai, anime, video games? What video games do I play? No, I, I swear to God, if fate is on here, I'm gonna be so angry. <laughs> I'm gonna be so angry <laughs> if fate grand order is on here. Yeah, I, I didn't put fate on here because I mean, I, I play, I, I don't did know. Did you think about putting fate I did put, I no. no. <laughs> I did think about putting, not fate, but uh, Genshin Impact on there. Oh because, really? Yeah, I was really, really fucking impact into it. in your life, you could Okay, say. well then you want to go through the nine games you have? All right, so starting at the top, Mass Effect 3, uh -huh. Tales of Symphonia, Persona 5, Zelda Wind Waker, League of Legends, Super Mario Sunshine, Metal Gear Solid 3, Subnautica, Gears of War 2. I look at this and I'm just like, this is the most random <laughs> fucking yeah, that list was, of I was games. not expecting like half of the games you put on here. I honestly, I expected myself to put more anime games on and I'm just realizing right. what, I haven't, I haven't really finished any games. I mean, the only real anime games on here is probably Symphonia and Persona, right? Yeah, and those are the mm. only, like I'm thinking, what other anime type game series are there? Uh, that are famous because when I think of anime video games, I'm just like Tales series, Persona series. Yeah, uh, those are the only anime video games I've like actually Xeno series. Saga, like I've Xenoblade, actually finished. Yeah, so yeah. why? Because I've only ever played one Tales game. I've played Tales of Okay, Berseria. Berseria? Oh, that's the <laughs> that's the not good one. 
Is it not good one? No, Berseria okay. wasn't that, that good. That one with the the woman with the- The red and black yeah, hair. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I got, Berseria, yeah. I got quite far in for yeah. me. Yeah, yeah. I got yeah. like 20 something hours in and I was yeah. like- this Wow, is, well, 20 hours into a JRPG? Yeah. That's impressive. That's I, impressive. I was like, God, for your stamp. this is so boring. <laughs> Literally like all the fights are the fucking it's same. A, it's a, oh, yeah, welcome to JRPGs. Bro. Yeah, like I'm completely, f okay, so here's the thing. For the longest time, I really, really tried to get into JRPGs. Like mm. as a kid, mm. the, re the reason Tails is on here mm. is that as a kid, I like, I knew I would love JRPGs and like the aesthetic and the story mm. and everything because I love anime. Yeah. The problem is I hated turn-based battles. Like right. I, I, I couldn't fucking stand turn-based battles. And that would like put me off getting more than say five hours into any JRPG mm -hmm. because I would just get turned off by the turn-based battles. Mm. And so I was like, as a kid, I was waiting for a game that was an anime game that just did not have a turn-based battle system right. and also random encounters. I fucking hate random encounters as well. <laughs> okay. Right? Random encounters <laughs> suck. <laughs> so, wait, wait, okay. You say that though, but Persona 5 is literally that. I know. Okay, Persona 5, it doesn't have random encounters, but yeah. Persona 5 is literally the game that broke JRPGs for me well, because- yeah. I mean, even as someone who hasn't played it or plays JRPGs, it's still that JRPG that I look at and I'm like, I know that's a good game. Like, right. I, I don't need to play it to know that's a good game. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, you yeah. just look at it. And you I can, won't play it, but it's yeah, good. Yeah, <laughs> like, I can see everything about it that this is a banger of a game. Yeah. I'm not going to play it because I don't own a console that can play it. And yeah. honestly, do I want to get into that shit? No. <laughs> but. Like, it's a, it looks like a fucking good game. Like, oh, yeah. with, with Persona 5, um, I don't know. It's, not, it was, it's the only turn-based battle game right. where I just didn't get bored of the battle system. And I don't know why it's something, I think it's- It's the theme, man. It's 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 <laughs> it's, it's a bit of everything, right? Yeah. Because it just, it's really good at tricking your mind into thinking that this isn't turn-based battle. <laughs> That's that's the best way I can describe. Which is uh, like the sexiest animations alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's just got like so many colors. The music fucking slaps. Um, you can like you you get different abilities as you go on, and I don't know. Like it's it's something. It's it's really good at tricking your mind into thinking, man. This is this just it just feels almost like a rhythm game at points. Right, right. You know, it it it. I I can't put my words on why that battle system out of everything just trumped any other JRPG battle mm. system um, because I can't I can't think of any other JRPG I enjoy even though I th even though I I say I'm a JRPG enjoyer right, right? right. I have the most basic so, JRPG so then, taste So then why did you put Tales of Symphonia there specifically Tales of Symphonia okay so cuz for me if I would have put a Tales game cuz I've played most of the Tales games. I played one Tales game. I don't know what the fuck was happening. <laughs> so if you want to explain to me what it's about, because I legitimately don't know anything and I'm sure the viewers who yeah. haven't played it. Because if I like, would have put a Tales game on there personally, I would have put Zestiria on there. Yeah, which one is Zestiria again? Zestiria is um, the one after Symphonia. Okay, yeah. I would have put, uh, the the only one I can think of is Vesperia. Yeah. Which is which is like, <laughs> I'm just I'm just throwing out words for Connor here. <laughs> they all sound so similar already. Vesperia, Vesperia, Vesperia. Yeah, I mean, it's like Final Fantasy one, two, three, four, yeah. five, I mean, I, six. I can follow along with the numbers. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty good at that. I, can, <laughs> I think I've got that down. I know six comes after five. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm aware of that. But. Yeah, I mean, I mean, the best way I can describe it, it's just basically a, it's just basically anime as anime, the video game. Yeah. Like it's 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 really that simple. JRPGs are just to me, I, I know I can get into most JRPGs if I like the combat and battle system mm. because it's just anime the video game, right? And yeah. I like anime, I'm a fucking weeb. Yeah. Therefore, equation equals you like the Tales series, yeah, yeah, <laughs> right? Yeah. And um, the reason Tales of Symphonia one there was it was my first experience with just realizing that, whoa, you can play a video game and it feels like you're watching an anime. <laughs> Whoa! This is this is amazing. I, I, like I can't I can't believe I've just discovered this in my life, and I was so obsessed with this, right? Because it's um, these are two of the only JRPGs I've ever finished. But I was so obsessed with it that I got to the eighty percent point, as yeah. I do with most video games, and then I just stopped playing it. And right. I didn't stop playing it because I got bored. I stopped playing it because I didn't want that experience to end. I didn't right. I didn't want to see the end credits yeah. and know that that experience is over. Yeah. So like I stopped playing it for about. I, I, I held on to that for about two fucking years Jesus of Christ. my life. Just 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 so just so I know yeah. that I have I have the ending of Tales of Symphonia to look forward to in my life. Like that that was that was like the peak of life. Right, right. right. <laughs> after after Man, the ending. You must have to hold a nut. 
<laughs> you literally oh, no. blue ball yeah, you like, you can't like, I'm a blue ball myself <laughs> that's that monk control <laughs> kicking in yeah exactly God, yeah. Damn. The, the, fun, the funny thing is so I'm just like after, after about two years I'm like okay I think it's time to complete Tales of Symphonia. <laughs> start playing. I think it. it's time to not. Yeah, I, I think it's time to finally not. Start playing Start playing it again. And then I realize, fuck, I don't know anything. I can't remember anything that's yeah, going on. Yeah. So what did I do? I just replayed it from the beginning and I was like As 80 hours in already. Um, so I put like a good 150, 160 hours into this game. Yeah. Um, Persona 5, I actually haven't replayed. Okay. Because I mean, it's quite long. Isn't it's it? quite a long. To, it's quite a long game, and compared to Tales, when I was a kid, I had plenty of time to fucking replay mm, games back then. Because I assume Persona is probably going to be on your list as well. Because you played yeah, it twice, Persona right? Five. Oh, I've, I played Persona Five four times. <laughs> <laughs> you played it more than me. Yeah, but I, I remember the reason Persona's on there is that out of like a lot of games in my adult life, it like for the first time in a long time, it, you know, it felt like I was a kid again, mm. and I was just like. Uh, how 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 can I, how can I put this into words? I, when I experienced Persona Five, I didn't know that I could feel this way. <laughs> just just like being really excited about just being really excited about a game and just discovering in this new world. And uh, God, I I'm, I'm I killed like, my feelings when I was an adult, <laughs> and then Persona Five reminded me. Of it really again. did. It really did. I don't know. It was. I was just like, Yo, this is anime, and it's a video game. I'm enjoying it again. <laughs> it's it's like it's like discovering anime for the first time again. Right, right. And yeah, like I I I always I always everyone always told me. You know, you, you're like the Persona series. You're like mm. the Persona series. And I'm just like, no, I fucking won't. It's got turn-based battles in there. Why the fuck yeah, would I yeah. like that? It's got turn-based battles. And then- They do. They are like the worst system of any combat system, <laughs> yeah, any yeah. game. Like it's like- <laughs> far, far and beyond. One of the yeah. few things I can agree on Donkey with. Right. <laughs> you know, and that's that's like the big reason why I haven't, you know, I I couldn't get into a lot of the Final Fantasies. Mm. Never played Final Fantasy VII. Um, I'll probably start playing Final Fantasy VII Remake because that doesn't have turn-based battles. Mm. I mean, I was telling myself I was gonna play Final Fantasy VII for like the past 10 years. And I never <laughs> and did. Just never did. Well, because it's one of those games like, I'm gonna play it. Yeah, yeah, of course I'm gonna play it. It's Final Fantasy VII. Well, I mean, and then, the, yeah, and then, that, yeah. And then, and then, and then like, the time yeah. passed, yeah. But I mean, I remember I did boot up Final Fantasy VII and yeah. the first time on, on Steam and I was like- Oh, the place, that, the original one. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. Oh, it's hideous. Yeah, it looks like <laughs> absolute oh. shit. I, was like, I can't do this. Like cloud with like the egg beater hands. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah it looks yeah. fucking horrible now. Yeah, because I, I, you talked about you know when a new hype game comes out, mm. then you just drop whatever you're playing mm. and yeah. just start playing that. I have like the opposite problem. I have I I don't know what I don't know if there's an actual term for it. I think I I think I'm gonna I'm just gonna coin a term now. Okay. I have I get hype fatigue, right? <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> so like th there are times when I see the, I, I see a new game like announced at E3 or something. Yeah, I yeah. see all I I see all like the you know the gameplay and like the developers showing off gameplay footage and trailers and I'm like I like follow through that and I'm like super super hyped for this game because mm. I think I'm really really gonna like this game and I get so hyped that I kind of hype myself out of it once <laughs> the game actually comes out. You like, used all your hype. Yeah 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 yeah. yeah. It's it's so weird. Like I was like that with the Final Fantasy VII remake because I'm like. Dude, I can finally enjoy Final Fantasy VII because it's removed the shitty part that I hate about Final Fantasy, mm, the yeah. turn-based combat and the random encounters. So in theory, I should love this game because this is one of the greatest JRPGs of all time. Everyone always talks about it. Yeah. I was hyped for it to come out. I was hyped for it for years and then it came out and then I just was just like, maybe I'll play it later. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really good point. Well, I, I think that League of Legends killed my ability to get hyped for games. Yeah. Because mm, yeah. I, I knew that at the end of the day, most of the time I would just return to League of Legends. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So like, it didn't matter what game came out anyway, because right. I would play it for a week and I'd be like, all right, back to League. Yeah, you know? right, and it's right. like, And so now, even though I don't really play League anymore, even when a, a game that I probably am excited for like is announced or whatever, I'm just like, while well, someone's on Twitter going, uh, you know, like the fucking yeah, every yeah. letter. Yeah. I'm just like, oh. I mean, cool. yeah, it's like, you know, I'll play when it comes it's kind of like that, you know, whole thing of like, oh, like a new restaurant just opened up that yeah. everyone's fucking hyped about. I'll go check it out. But then you go have a meal there. Might be the best fucking meal of your life. But then, you know, you'll yeah. be like, all right, I'm going to McDonald's tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's just comfort food, right? Or comfort game. Yeah. Where it's just like, there's always that like fallback of, yeah, you know, this is a cool game and, and all. Yeah. And like, I'm sure I'll love it if I just kept going on with it. Yeah. But at the same time, it's like, I'll just, I'll just replay this thing. I, yeah, like I, wonder, time. I wonder as well if you're into story games more, which I think the people who are chasing like the hype are more into story games. Cause when yeah. you're a multiplayer gamer, yeah. mainly like mm. me, it's like, well, 
I'm just going to keep playing the same fucking game. Mm. So like, I, why would I get hyped over anything when if there's a new game, I'll probably end up switching to it if it's a new multiplayer game. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? yeah So yeah. it's kind of hard for me to get hyped yeah. about story Cause, games. Because it's like a catch 22 for me, right? Because I, I really value good stories mm. in video games, yeah. but also like, especially now as an adult, I think I just have commitment issues with games. <laughs> like, un unless I know that I'm going to be committed to this game for the next week of my life, which mm. finding hard, finding time to commit to a game for the next week of my life is like a big fucking commitment now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is, it is yeah, so hard, hard. Yeah. that sometimes I just go back to my comfort food of just like maybe replaying Mass Effect. Like when, when Cyberpunk got released, I, I was super, super hyped about Cyberpunk. And then it got released and then I'm just like, I don't really feel like playing Cyberpunk. I, and I just start playing Mass Effect again. <laughs> <laughs> because but I you know, can't I, choose your dick size in Mass Effect. Because <laughs> I know the story of Mass Effect. I know yeah. I'm going to enjoy the story of Mass Effect. And I know, but I, I, I think over like pre overexposure in terms of like gaming is mm. is a big thing for me because yeah. a lot of people hype up games to no to no end. And I don't think that people. I don't think in anime at least this is as big of a problem. Or, or as big of like a thing where people do, you know, people mm. get hyped about anime as it's airing. Mm. People rarely get hyped about anime or super, super hyped about anime before it starts airing. But with video games, mm. you have years and years to like pump yourself up I for this mean, game yeah. to come out. Cyberpunk hyping up, right? That was ridiculous. <laughs> that was I, I am surprised though, that I wasn't expecting, I thought I was gonna be the only Nintendo simp <laughs> on this, at this table. So I'm glad that you have at least like a couple of Nintendo games here. Okay, okay. okay. So let me ask you this. Was Wind Waker your first Zelda? It was the first Zelda that I finished. That's and normally how it goes. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, usually yeah. how it goes. Because my favorite was like Twilight Princess. And I know that it's not the best one. Because yeah. I think Breath of the Wild is better than Twilight Princess. Yeah, but Twilight Princess is still a fucking but, solid yeah, game. Yeah, but solid game. But yeah. it's only because I like, I think that was the first one that I finished. And okay. like when you finish a Zelda game, there's something about it that feels like so- Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 you're a kid. Yeah, I mean, yeah. The, I, I, it was like really hard for me to pick between Wind Waker and uh, Breath of the Wild. I was fucking obsessed with Breath of the Wild when I when it came out because I remember when I started getting into Breath of the Wild um, was the first time that I came to Japan with Sydney. Right, and, uh, right. the first time I, the first time I met you. Um, and I remember like I had a great time in Japan. First time in Japan, of course you're gonna have a great fucking time. But I remember no matter how many times, no matter how many times I went to Akiba, no matter how many times we hung out and everything, at the back of my mind I was just like. I kind of just want to go home. I could be play. playing Breath of the Wild. I could, I could be playing Breath of the Wild right now. Like Gots fuck in the club. <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck I'm, uh, Breath of the Wild right like now. I'm just like, you know, uh, fuck Joey, man. Like, <laughs> come, on, come on, come on, Joey. You're, you're good, but are you Breath of the Wild good? I, I don't know about that. <laughs> but you could have said that to my face. I would have been like, you know what? I ain't mad. <laughs> I kind of agree. Kind of have to agree with you there. I, to be fair though, I wasn't expecting Sunshine for some reason. Okay, out of all you the- You don't Marius, seem like a Sunshine player. How, why don't I seem like a Sunshine I don't know. player? I don't know. You just don't, you two don't seem like Nintendo game. I know I know you're not, but you definitely like don't Nintendo seem games. like that. Because I think uh, the, the, only re the, the only Nintendo games that are on here are like my childhood Nintendo games, yeah, right? Yeah. Because I was definitely a Nintendo kid. I, I was such a Nintendo simp when I was a kid. Yeah. I, I was like, I, I didn't, I never owned any other console mm. apart from the NES, Super NES, N64, GameCube. And it was only after GameCube that mm. I finally ventured out, which I, which is why I just didn't own a Wii. Right. And I think since then the Switch is the first Nintendo console I actually owned. Right. And so I still, I still like, out of all the Nintendo games, these two, pop out to me as the ones that- I think they're still like the most popular. I know, yeah, 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 honestly. <laughs> Normie. <laughs> it's like most popular 3D Mario and most popular 3D Zelda. So, I mean, I think Wind Waker is great. I think oh, you could you could pick Bre Wind Waker or Breath of the Wild as number one. And I, mm. I'd, I'd be, I, you know, I can't hate on both, right? Cause yeah, but, I mean, at the end of the day- But like, like, like a lot of people who grew up my age, they put Ocarina of Time mm. and I, uh, I, not gonna I, lie, I, I, I not play, gonna lie, I don't understand the hype between no, Ocarina of Time. I played okay, Ocarina. okay, I okay. thought I was- No. I, I, I kind of got bored of Ocarina of Time. Yeah. I, I kind of did. Well, it's, it's like how like, I think Wind Waker, again, it's like the art style, right? Wind Waker aged fucking fantastically. Mm -hmm. Ocarina did not age well. Like you play that shit now, it is like fucking impossible well, to play with that's what I'm saying. Like shit. I've always said like Ocarina of Time for the Zelda franchise is a lot like Final Fantasy VII for the Final Fantasy franchise, where it's like, because it was the first, 3D game yeah. mm -hmm. after a long succession of 2D games. Yeah. Obviously when the 3D like oh, boom fucking was massive, starting, right? It was yeah, massive, yeah. right? So yeah. people immediately were like, it's in 3D. Yeah. <laughs> Automatically 10 out of 10. I also didn't yeah. grow up with it. So 
you know, I only, right. I only ended up playing it later. Oh yeah, and even e- even like now, right? Mm. To me, when I you know who I've played all the games from Wind Waker onwards, mm. mm-hmm. I just think like when I'm looking at Ocarina of Time, like you know. Majora's Mask looks so much more interesting oh, yeah. in like every single way. This game looks fucking weird. I agree. Yeah, yeah. It's so cool. But like, I yeah, Did you I ever play Majora's Mask? I did like <laughs> about two hours and then I was like, fuck, this is so hard. <laughs> <laughs> Majora's Mask is hard as shit. It's really hard. Yeah. No, and, I would 100% prefer playing Majora's Mask yeah. over Ocarina of Time. Just yeah. because like, again, like it's, well, I mean, for, for one, both are hard as shit. Yeah, but also, like, also, I don't like playing it on the emulator. I don't know why. Something feels wrong about playing Nintendo 64 games. Okay, because I have Majora's Mask on like, because I have like a proper N64. Yeah, I know you do. And yeah, I have yeah. Majora's Mask. Yeah. And it's like, I don't know. The feeling's kind of the same to really? me. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's like, yeah. I, don't I know, want to go back and play them. I yeah. do. Yeah, yeah. But I again, like, I don't understand people who are like, Ocarina of Time is the greatest Zelda game. I'm like, <laughs> I'm sorry, it's, it's not. It's not. It hasn't. It, I'm going to get a whole lot of hate <laughs> about this. But it's the, uh, look. I've I've publicly said that yeah. I'm sorry, but Final Fantasy VII is not the best. It, Final it, Fantasy. Again, it's, yeah. it's what Cowboy Bebop is to anime. Right, it's, it's, like, like, it's like it's the one. <laughs> that's, it's, what it it's, that's, that's exactly what it is. That's what it is. It's like it's the one you probably watched first. It's the one that probably got in, you into the franchise or yeah. into the medium. Right, yeah. but that doesn't mean it's the best. Yeah, I, I mean I, I agree because these might be the ones from my childhood that you know, I have the fondest memories of, but mm. they weren't the first Zelda or Mario that I played no. in my life. I'm surprised you didn't have uh, Super Mario 64 on there. Because his- You're such a boomer guy. <laughs> hey, where are, these aren't boomer picks, Khan. Where are your boomer picks? <laughs> these are way too new. Because the thing is, I'm not, I'm not like a super massive Mario fan. I I, yeah. I did, you know, I have, I have completed yeah. 64, completed Sunshine, completed, what's the most recent Mario game? Odyssey. Odyssey. I mean, Odyssey. I completed them, not, not got all the shiny mm. shines or, you know, I got to the end game, beat Bowser the final time. Yeah. Um. So, you know, I have completed them, but out of all the Marios that I've played, I just think there's something about sunshine. You know, you know, when you think back to a game and you just, it just vibes with you. <laughs> like, like the yeah. feeling just vibes with you. Yeah, yeah. That's sunshine. I feel like sunshine is just, Clean. Okay, it's, it's so it's, goddamn it's, clean. It's literally in the name, sunshine. Okay, <laughs> if you couldn't tell, I'm, yeah. I'm a bit of a summer kid. All right. I mean, I mean they, they, <laughs> we've we've had many arguments about this. Where like I I fucking does I've, that this, does that mean anything though? It like, does. Just because I like the winter, I'm not gonna go get fucking Mario at the fucking Winter Olympics. <laughs> he's like, right. He's, he's, play, play, he's playing fucking Mario 64. Gets to the snow level, turns it off. <laughs> it's like, like no, no, that is exactly what. What? I, the I fucking fuck? can't stand What's this level. But why are you? Guys call me the monkey brain. Are you, are you, playing, are you playing Mario snow? in like? Are you playing Mario in like 4D? Like, <laughs> no, because like <laughs> it goes outside. The, like, no, no, no. Because, you're at the snow level. Uh, turn on AC. Okay. <laughs> you, you, you know, you know, there are some levels out there where you you hit you hit it and you're just like, oh, it's this level again. Like every fucking water level in any fucking no, no, video game of all that. time. But I'm not like, oh fuck. You know what's one thing I ha- hate about the stage? The weather. <laughs> I've never been. I, like I that. am literally like that. <laughs> like, what is wrong with you? No, what, what, like when I played Mario's sunshine and like I, I i loved it because every level is like every level gives off that summer feeling and that summer vibe right. which i fucking love yeah and it's uh, like the the ones that i hated the levels that i hated the most in, in mario sunshine were like the boo levels something where it's like dark and scary no, the and whatever pachinko level fuck <laughs> yeah the shocked. pachinko level is oh, the fucking worst shocked. yeah yeah but like for the most part it's it gives off a very summery vibe and I think back to that, I'm just like, yeah, I, I fuck with this. I, 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 I'm gonna use Joey Sam here. I, 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 fuck, fuck, with I fuck with this, you know. I, 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 it just it just makes me happy. It gives me the good feelings. No, I get that. I get that. I, they're, they're like, it's like so hard to. Like, this is gonna be such a boring part of their podcast where we're just like, damn, gone. You have good. T- I mean, like this is categorically just two great games. You yeah, know what I mean, like, exactly. Congratulations, gone. <laughs> you have good taste. Oh right? god. Oh god, I've become Connor now. Yeah, you're me. This is, like, <laughs> this, is, this, is a, this is super vanilla. Uh, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll happily say that this is super vanilla. Um, I mean, it's also just interesting because it's like, we, I think it's because we just never fucking talk about the games that we're into. So like, I never expected like Subnautica or like Gears of War to be there. Yeah, what the fuck? Why? Okay, I okay. love fucking Gears of War. Yeah. Why, why is it on your list? Yeah. What the fuck? Okay, so I, I, I had a hard choice putting my, my, not my, yeah, my last three. Um, so <laughs> Gears of War is on there because it is the first multiplayer game that's, it, it was the game 
that is on there because I, that's how I discovered online gaming. And right. I'm just like, man, Gears of War was a good fucking online game. No, dude, it was clean. Mm. Yeah. And honestly, Gears of War 2 was probably the first game where I was like, whoa, video games can like make me sad. Wait, what? The, oh, the, with story. the story. The story. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. no, I didn't give a shit about the story. Dude, the story's so good. <laughs> I don't even think I finished that. Why am I? What are, are, we, are we swapping? We're swapping go, like, <laughs> bro, the story is so good. I, I literally put this on here because, like, I had such a hard time because I'm just like, I didn't give a shit about the story. I no, didn't finish dude, the story. There's one thing I remember about Gears of War 2, it's the story. Dude, the story is so. <laughs> I remember that this. Okay, this is, it doesn't count as spoilers anymore. It's so fucking old. You should yeah, know yeah. about it. Like, What's the, the story again? Um, <laughs> the locusts are taking over the earth and they're basically stopping them, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, that's basically like the- Wow. No, G no, but there's G some- G no, Because there was like the, 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 the two duo who you're following, which is- uh, I just remember one guy trying to look for his wife or something. Yeah, but that yeah, was yeah, the part. Yeah, that was the yeah, sad part. That was like, yeah. cause then he like finds it, but then he didn't find it. It was like an illusion. And yeah. then I'm like, what the fuck? I was like, I was like 13. I'm like, I'm like what? This is and so And this like, fucking massive meathead of a character just like breaks down in the battlefield. I'm just yeah. like, oh my God. Oh. I'm, I was just like, this was the first game when I'm just like, ooh, chainsaw go <laughs> yeah, that, well, that, That's how it gets you in. Right? So Gears of War gets you in with the chainsaw go bruh, super manly man. And then 10 minutes in you're fucking crying. And you're like, whoa, what it's happened? Like chainsaw man the game. No, no, for, for me, the, the one memory I hold for Gears of War 2, the multiplayer is just the sound you, the sound it makes when you pop a guy's head off with a sniper rifle. Oh, okay. Like I, I Did like- you play Gears of War? Yeah, I played two, yeah. Uh -huh. Like that was, I, th I think that soul sound, and I don't know why it was so fucking satisfying because it was it was like literally cracking an egg. Well, right? I mean those 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 shotguns are like still there's like no multiplayer experience like the online in Gears of War. <laughs> oh, the, yeah. It's just shotguns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. that's like the meta is like you have to run up to people and shotgun each other. Yeah, right, right. Oh, okay, the shotgun was also really satisfying when you got like a point blank and the, the body just explodes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My God, like I, I, I like you're the monkey brain, but that was like the first <laughs> time I'm just like, okay, I, I, I enjoy this now. This is fun. Uh, it was really sad because I think uh, Gears of War got plagued by the fact that there was just like a, like uh, there would always be like, uh, two really fucking god tier players in the game that could mm. just dominate the whole lobby. Yeah. So it just kind of became not fun after a while if you weren't like a pro. Yeah. So you just get fucking destroyed by the like good players. I def I didn't play on I didn't play online Gears of War two a lot because like really, I, I didn't really have I didn't online. have what console was it on again? Three sixty. Yeah, because I didn't own a three sixty because yeah. I played it at my friend's place a lot just like land multiplayer mm. and yeah. that was like really really fun. But yeah, yeah, I probably from the sounds of it I probably wouldn't enjoy it more <laughs> online. It no, you you probably wouldn't now. Yeah. I mean it it, it was me just discovering what multiplayer meant. And mm. before I started hating, okay. Gears of War started my love for multiplayer games. League of Legends killed it. Okay. <laughs> and yet it's in the middle. <laughs> League of Legends is in the middle. Cause I think out of, out, out of all of these games, I have probably played League of Legends the most. Right. Not proud to admit it. Um, but the reason it's on there is because I think the honeymoon period of League of Legends for me was probably the best gaming experience of my life. Mm. It was I, really long for me as well. I was like like two years long. That's a long honeymoon. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, when you're getting into that game and it's going well, it feels so fun. Like, yeah. It's great. It's so fun to get into. It's just, it's hard. Yeah, because the, the problem is now I, I feel like uh, multiplayer games just aren't fun unless you are getting into it immediately as it's released, mm. right? Because the problem, the problem with multiplayer games I've found now is that you have a new game and that's, when, when a new game just gets released, that's the fun part. Cause nobody, nobody really knows how to be good at the game. Mm. Everyone's just kind of like really discovering what works and what doesn't. Everyone's just fucking having fun. Yeah. And then you get to a point in multiplayer where people just realize how to optimize the fun out of the game. The sweaty boys well, come that, out, right? That's what happened with like Fortnite. Honestly, like <laughs> honestly, if you like me, all memes aside, Fortnite was so fun when it first came out. And yeah, so, which yeah. is why it blew up. Mm. And then when it got to the point where everyone would like, build a fucking mortgage right in front of your eyes within 10 seconds and you couldn't do anything. It's like, well, this is just not fun anymore. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I, I don't have the dexterity of like a chimp on, on like Coke, right? Like <laughs> how am I supposed to do this? Yeah, cause I remember like, I really, really fucking enjoyed Overwatch when it first came out. Yeah, like, me too, me too. Like I, I, and I, I never, I, I didn't make the same mistake of trying to do ranked um, I, because, I like because I'd learned from League of Legends, but even just playing casually, I really, really fucking enjoyed it. And then it got to a point when even in casual games, you weren't allowed to have fun anymore. You, you got the, the same, the same, uh, the same heroes well, being could picked. Could you change your hands on? <laughs> 
I mean, I, I, I will fully admit it. I was like a Genji main because I was a dirty <laughs> weave. And the reason I played Genji was because I fucking sucked at Genji. But like the one the one time out of 10 where I, I, I did an ult and it actually worked out, that was the reason I played Genji. Like nine out of 10 times, I would completely flunk it. I would fail, I would get killed straight away. But that one time, that one time when it worked out, I that, that that's what I live for, man. <laughs> and because of that, I was one of the most toxic. I was I wasn't the most toxic ones, but I was I was that one Genji on your team <laughs> that, that that probably threw you the match. Did I you, was that I was that person. Did you talk shit to your teammates? I didn't talk. I, I'm not a toxic gamer. Funnily enough, I'm just like, oh come on guys, we we can do it if we are all, all put together. All Go try. team. <laughs> <laughs> we can we can win with the power of friendship. Come on guys. Oh my god. In ra in ranked, you had to get you had to start like shouting at people, get them to shut up. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just like I'm just like that guy who just goes mutual and just does my own thing. Yeah, I, I do that sometimes too. I mean, I, I I play it as closely as a single player game as I can because um, like playing online game just makes me <laughs> makes you realize how fucking how much I hate people. <laughs> People are the worst. <laughs> Especially in competitive ones, right? That's why like in Japan, it's so weird because like people just don't smack talk at all. Like, <laughs> well, they don't know how to. Yeah, it's just like <laughs> at, at most you'll get passive aggression. Yeah. Like, I'd, probably, I'd probably enjoy Japanese competitive no, game. No one them. talks unless you talk to them. Because I, I, I play in the league servers in Japan and like 90% of them are just Chinese Smurfs. Yeah, so of yeah, course yeah, they're like awful. toxic as shit, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's why I don't really play anymore. Cause it's just like, you can't fucking have fun in League of Legends. It's just, it's just like a Korean Chinese playground. <laughs> They're like, oh, let's go and fuck like fuck with the Japanese players who are suck at this game. Yeah, it's it's literally just it's literally just the playground where the school bullies go to to just like bully like the, the just like LeBron the James kids. coming down to the elementary <laughs> match to start dunking, you know. Be like, you suck. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but like, yeah. All right, Metal Gear. Whatever. I mean, that's good. You can't. What can yeah, I say? Yeah, no that? one can complain about no, that. That's just great. Honestly, just like, I mean, you could put any Metal Gear in there; it would have been good. I mean, f for me, like, do you know? Do you know the reason I enjoyed Metal Gear? Why? Because I, I have played all Metal Gears, mm. in, except for Metal Gear Five. Really? Apparently, the best one in terms of gameplay. It and is the best one. I have really no kind of want to play it. Because <laughs> of the hype fatigue? No, 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 okay. I get it, you feel like you had your fill. No, I, I didn't have my fill. Like I was hype as shit for it. And then and I- What is it gone? And then I found out that the story was kind of like incomplete. And I'm just like, okay, well that 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 just takes the reason so for it, Middle Gear. So leave away it from more me. incomplete by not playing it? Like, <laughs> yeah, why, yeah, why, yeah, why, yeah. What? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it's, it's not finished and I haven't finished it. So I'm not gonna do any more. It doesn't deserve my time. <laughs> okay, like how, how, do you, how do you feel about this, Connor? Like when you play, have you ever played Metal Gear? Uh, no. Okay. None of them? Uh, no, cause I, it was like, I don't know why, but like, I never really saw it in like the shops. I was right. growing up. Mm. Probably cause it was also, also on PlayStation as well, right? I had PlayStation 2 growing up. Right. But yeah, for some reason I was probably playing like Shrek and Spyro and dumb <laughs> shit like that. <laughs> Good I, choice. I was really like, yeah, when I was uh, when I was younger, I wasn't attracted at all to like the FPS art or like the, like military looking stuff. Mm, right. Like I always went for the childish cartoonish oh, looking yes, stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Even when I was like 14, 15, I would still like to prefer the cartoon anime mm, style mm, over. Yeah. Uh, so I, I, I normally avoided those. So I was playing like fucking theme park games and shit when I was like 15. Like Rollercoaster Tycoon and shit. Well, the, the, Holy like, shit. I... PlayStation had its like uh, <laughs> its own brand of like these theme park games. Yeah. And yeah. I think they're still quite popular on YouTube occasionally. Right. And you could like, you could build the rides and then ride them. From like POV, first person. Oh wow. It was really cool. Shit. Do you because know the he, one I'm on about? No, no, no. I I I'm I'm just getting a flashback of memories now. Maybe <laughs> I should have put that on there. Because I've spent far too much time on theme park or th yeah, theme park and theme hospital. Yeah, I, yeah, I I think, you know, roller coaster tycoon is like fuck I put a lot of Oh dude, I put way too much. Honestly, time it could be on my list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like shit, man. Maybe I should have put that on my list. But uh <laughs> Yeah, in terms of th like, I never got into, got into Roller Coaster Tycoon because uh, Theme Park had like the voiced person telling you what to do. And I don't know, something about having someone voiced telling you what to do was <laughs> was a big selling point for me. Right. Uh, was that the one, the PlayStation 2 one that I'm on about? Maybe, I don't know. I don't know. I'll, I'll I don't know about find that the box one. out when we yeah. have a break. Yeah, and I will yeah but, but it definitely had a POV option where you could build the rides and then yeah, you, you could, could ride it. Yeah, you could, and there was like <sighs> racing games in it. So when yeah. you built like the racing track, you built the track yourself and then you could race around it. Oh, that sounds cool. Like, yeah, dude, it was awesome. Oh, Why have I never heard of this? And then like, you could- Shit, I want to play it now. And there, <laughs> oh, there was like, fuck. there was like the, the normal park. There was like an alien park. Yeah, yeah. You remember this? 
Oh, and they and fuck. each each world had like different ride things yeah. that you could ride, and like you you couldn't progress to the next world unless your theme park was X successful. That just sounds one? like Roller Coaster Tycoon. No, it, dude, is, it is. It was like Coaster Roller Coaster Tycoon, Tycoon, but like better. Because right. like Roller Coaster Tycoon is pure like top down. Yeah, yeah, it's just yeah. like you get in there. You can yeah. walk around your park. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, That's yeah. POV. Yeah. Like it yeah. was so good. Why like, have I never heard of this? This is the box art. I'm gonna find it, Mudan. <laughs> I, I know what the box art looks like. I think they released other types of games as well, but yeah. this is the one that like I literally played to death on the PS2. <laughs> no, I, you you are you are reminding me now, and yeah, I'm just yeah, like yeah. fuck. I didn't play it on PS2. I played it on PC. It was on PC as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was on PC. Um, fuck, man. That's just bringing back memories. Nostalgia hit me. No, because I I, I fucking love. Loved sim simulator games like that. I could I could never get into The Sims, but yeah, I fucking no. loved like Sim City, Theme Hospital, um, Roller Coaster Tycoon, mm. not Roller Coaster Tycoon, uh, Theme Park, as you yeah, said. Yeah. God, I put so many. Yeah, hours just hit him with that nostalgia. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this yeah, is yeah, why. So, so that's why, like, I never really played military games because I would always see like the like the bright like boxes, and I think mm, I'm yeah. like you know being a fucking 14, 15 year old. You're like, <laughs> no, I was exactly know? the same when like uh, like when like Heavy Rain came out. Yeah, yeah. And look, I looked at the box art, and I'm like. What the fuck is that? Yeah. And yeah. now I regret not playing it back in the day because much yeah. many years later I played, yeah. I was like, this game's fucking fantastic. Cause like <laughs> I loved like Crash Bandicoot so mm. much on the PS2. Yeah. And like, that was the kind of art style that I normally gravitated towards. So yeah. well, I even- I completely forgot about Crash <laughs> Bandicoot. Yeah, right, right. Like there's so <laughs> many games that you've like, yeah. yeah even all the spinoffs of Crash Bandicoot, yeah. so like yeah. Crash Racing. Uh, they had like the Mario Party s kind of game called like Crash Bash, which I really liked as well. I heard game. of that. Even one. though it's a terrible game right now, yeah. but I used to play it a bunch. And there's yeah. like Crash One, Two, and uh, you know, Crash yeah. Racing, dude. Crash Holy Racing. Crash yeah. Racing. Oh my so god. god. The, uh, the only racing game that could legit compete against <laughs> Mario Kart. Yeah. No, 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 no. Uh, what was the uh, Diddy Kong Diddy Racing? Racing? Diddy Kong Racing. Diddy Kong is Racing is up there. Come I on. Really? I, I, it is up there. Up it there. is up there. I got Diddy Kong Racing for the DS. And no, I no, thought, you need no, to play the N64 sucked. The N64 one. version, yeah. because that was when it could actually compete with- Well, it was made by me. Rare, right? So yeah, probably, yeah. you know, I, I could see- I remember like Rare 10 doing. year old me going to my friend's place and he had Diddy Kong racing on the N64. And I'm like, wait, you can ride on airplanes? Yeah, and like boats. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, I, like for me, I was really close to putting Banjo-Kazooie on here. Oh my God, oh, another yeah. normie another, pick. Yeah, but normie, it's like, normie, normie, but it's good. Yeah, it's it's is, good, it it's good, what can I say? And yeah, I don't know, like, Okay, so part like a big reason why that I had so few games to pick or, to pick from, right, mm. is because when I really get into game, I really get into a game. Mm. I, I I wring out as much content as I can <laughs> out of that game. Every side quest, every little piece of dialogue, I yeah. play it to death so I can get everything. Like with I say so with Metal Gear. Right, so there would be times where you know, are you familiar with the codec calls? Oh, uh, the ones where they would like call you up and be like, yeah, yeah. snake. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Your ass is so so thick. one one of the big criticisms of Metal Gear when, you know, I was playing it and you know, when it was like really, really big was people hated the cutscenes, how long the cutscenes were. Mm. People hated the fact that you had to go through all these codec calls. I fucking love that shit, man. <laughs> was, I'm, I'm like, I'm like, holy shit, there's an hour cutscene. Be right back, getting the popcorn. I, This is the most epic gameplay I could ever hope for. Was Metal Gear 3 the one with like Psycho Mantis? Is that the one? No, that, it was, that was the first one. That was the first yeah. one. Really? Yeah. Oh, I thought the first one was like the top down, like NES one. Oh, that's, oh no, no, I that's, mean, that, that, that's, that's Metal like, Gear. That's Metal ah, Gear, not Metal Gear yeah, Solid. Metal Gear Solid is like yeah, the 3D yeah, yeah. ones. Cause like every time I watch, cause I've watched tons of videos about Metal Gear and every time I watched it, I'm like, fuck, I wish I like got this when I was a kid. Cause like, it looks <laughs> badass. No, it, it, it was yeah, fucking it was badass. Great. And, but the thing, the thing is like, okay, so there's Metal Gear and there's Tails as well. Tails has this feature, right? I mean, you've played a Tails game. Yeah. How did you think about the skits feature? What was skits? What was that? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, so, wait, is this where you talk with the character and it, like, it's, the Fire Emblem thing? What? Wait, was, what? Where, where you interact with characters? Is that what it was? No, am I crazy? Mm, no. Kind of. So in, in Tales games, they have this thing called skits, right? Where you'd be walking around and then you press like the select button when they give you a prompt, right? And it would just be characters talking to each other. And oh yeah, I'd never, I always either <laughs> skipped that or didn't do it. So like, I was probably the one fucking person who just hit every skit button. Like, I, I, I don't care what, what time I'm in, what like, 
at which point of the story, I would just like, I, I literally played Tales and I literally like, s there are some skits that are only, that, that only happen at certain areas of the map, which are like some, some areas of the map, oh you literally God. have to walk on the other side of the map and there was no like quick- Wow, this like, is a big boulder, huh? <laughs> yeah, it sure is. It, it literally doesn't mean shit. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and it literally doesn't mean shit. I fucking love that feature. I don't know, <laughs> man. I like, because here's the thing, if I, if I love the characters and I love the world, I'm I'm getting every kind of like, I'm getting kind You're of every- interacting with every, every, every interaction right? yeah, I yeah. can. Same thing with Mass Effect. When people talk about how much they love Mass Effect, they talk about, oh, you know, the character writing mm, mm. and you know, the, well, not so much the gameplay anymore, but like the world and right, the characters that, right. uh, uh, of Mass Effect. Mm. Um, I was probably, I uh, like, I remember there's, there was one Mass Effect gameplay session I had where I literally wasted an hour or two because in Mass Effect, they have this, uh, it's not a codec function, but like a database function mm. where they literally have a database of like every, like the history and law of like every alien, every world mm. that you go to. So awesome. I literally, I literally spent an hour or two of Mass Effect going through the entire <laughs> database and just and just reading the whole law of Mass Effect. I'd rather not. <laughs> I'd rather not, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, uh, and I fucking loved it. I, I absolutely loved it. Um, I can't even shake my head because I used to do that. What's exact wrong? What the same fuck is wrong with, with other you games? guys? <laughs> Does not want to play a game? Read a book or some shit. The fuck? <laughs> I did, right. I did that recently actually when I played Xenoblade 2 for the first time. Right. <laughs> and there's this like, there's this part where like every monster you encounter has like a full page oh about like God. how it lives and shit yeah, like that. Yeah. I read through all of them. I'm like, that's oh, so okay. So like the Zaphiros only lives in the swamps. <laughs> that's just, just like that's that really out. interesting yeah. to me. Like to, to, to me, that's that's what really makes a video game. Like it's especially because if, if, I'm, if I'm like really into a video game, I'm, go I'm gonna find out everything I can about that video game. Mm. And that's what like, but the thing, there's a difference, right? Cause I like when it's just fed to me in video games. Like people have talked about, you know, the lore of dark souls and everything like that. And people have like figured stuff out through the subtle hints that mm. you get through playing mm. the game. I'm just like, just tell me it. Just, just, yeah, well, just, I mean, just give me exposition. This is the one time where I actually want exposition. <laughs> when, when, you, when, you, when you say that, all I think about is the fucking, um, the Silent Hill person who's like- um, Hideo Kojima? No, 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 sorry. So there's like on, on Silent Hill forums, yeah. there's like mm -hmm. where they discuss like what the game's about and stuff. Yeah. There's like a really big thing and a big like, con like not a controversy, but like drama because one of like the main admins who'd had like some of the most posts on it was like convinced that the main character was circumcised and that was the reason for his like trauma. And that he was like gay what? or something. Yeah, and then that he was gay because of it or something like that. And so there's this whole like, dude, like Wang made like a 20 minute video about it. And it's like this whole thing where it was like a massive deal on the right. forums where they're discussing, you know, is, and then the guy was like, you know, he was on like a crusade being like, no one should be circumcised. It causes trauma <laughs> and stuff like that. And it turns like a whole thing. And I'm just like, is this what people do this? In my mind, I'm like, that's people who read story. That's what they do. Yeah, that's what they they yeah. go on forums, talk about why the main character is gay and his circumcision was trauma. And it's yeah, like, yeah. what's wrong with these people? Play a fucking video game. Why, why are you typing about it? I'm not even surprised by that. To be <laughs> like, because, yeah, I, I, that's so like when you, when it, it, I'm relieved when you like it being, you like the story being told to you. Yeah. yeah not yeah. that you're like, I want to figure it out. Is yeah, my, yeah. is my oh, character yeah. actually like gay or something? You know, let me, let me is he circumcised? Room. I need to yeah, know. I need to figure it out. Like they've left, Hideo Kojima left me hints that Metal Gear, <laughs> a Solid Snake is, is <laughs> circumcised. <laughs> like which, what? Which is funny. Like I'm more than happy to watch anime where I'm just like, oh, what's the subtle, uh, yeah. what's the subtext of this? Yeah, what, yeah. what is the author trying to say? Yeah. But with gaming, I'm just like, nah, no patience. Right. Just, just yeah. give me. Well, just, because you're already focused on like actually playing the game. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas right? like, no, no, I don't need to like, I don't want to like sit here and fucking guess what the story yeah, is yeah. while I'm trying to do this yeah. convoluted input, right? Yeah. And mm. there's there's also another thing that uh, also like, it, it's gonna be, it's gonna sound super weird, but sometimes I hate choice in video games. I just want a linear game, which is, which is funny what? that Mass Effect. Yeah, I was gonna say you literally put fucking, Mass Effect. The yeah. fucking Mass Effect. Literally linear. Mass Effect, Persona 5. But like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Mass Effect and Persona 5, which yeah. are the two, like, let's say the two- uh, Most choice heavy games. Yeah, the two made. of the most choice heavy games and the two exceptions, yeah. the two exceptions mm. to that rule. But I have, I have this thing. I, I don't, I don't know if I'm the only person who has like gaming FOMO where I'm given a choice no. and, I, and, and I know that like by, by making this choice, I'm gonna miss out on a certain piece of content oh, of yeah, the game. Yeah. I hate that. 
I hate that so much, right? Because that means, that means in the back of my mind, I'm just like, but what if I pick the other choice? And, and- Well, that's literally the reason why I replayed Persona 5 four times. Cause I was like, <laughs> well, there's four choices. Yeah. yeah. And I want to see all of them. So I'm going to play it four times to get all the choices. I, I think it was unfortunate that I, I like swore off JRPGs after playing Blue Dragon. Oh really? Which I mean, I, we, I think I've mentioned this before. Yeah, you told me about it. Yeah, yeah. It's the one that was like, I think the main selling point that comments were saying is that it was uh, the art was made by the Dragon Ball uh, guy. Uh, yeah, Toriyama. Yeah. Yeah, and like, I would never encountered this before in a video game, and this is what really pissed me off. Because mm. I, at this point, I was an achievement hunted guy, so I would always go mm. in like hundred percent. I would get all, all, yeah. all the achievements, no matter what. Yeah. yeah. This is the first time I encountered the thing where I'm like, okay, so this story is two hours long or some dumb shit like yeah. that. It's ridiculously long. Yeah. And I did it. And then I'm like, all right, how do I get these last few achievements? And I'd be like, this achievement is on the forum. It'd say this like, this achievement is only unlockable by doing this one option in this one mission. Yeah. If you pass yeah. it, you can never get this achievement. Yeah, and I'm, yeah, like, yeah. I'm like, what? <laughs> What? <laughs> just say psych. That, that's say such psych. a JRPG movie. And that's so <laughs> fucked up that they would do that. Like what kind of sick fuck does that? And they're like, I don't want anyone to be able to get this achievement. Make them play the whole fucking like 200 hour game again. <laughs> fucking assholes. There's no need to do that. Why would you do that as a game designer? I don't know. It's, from to get you to re it's, it's to get you to replay the game, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I- And the I, fucking, fucking every time- I mean, like the, the, the reason I hate it is because it takes it takes enough energy for me to finish a game once. Mm. So I'm, I'm thinking, fuck, if I need to replay oh. this game, I'm just not gonna see this content. Yeah. Right, and, right, right. Yeah. yeah. Dude, if you wanna see the shitty turn-based combat, you should play Blue Dragon, man. <laughs> Shit, every time you fucking start a battle, fucking the, mu the main song starts playing yeah. and it's a guy fucking singing. It sounds like the Pokemon intro. And then it takes like 20 seconds of animations where they all like summon their things, which is like, it's like 20 seconds long before you can even start the fucking turn-based combat. Dude, don't combat. tempt me. <laughs> that sounds awesome. Don't tempt, don't tempt me like that. Dude, I'm excited. No, I'm it's fucking garbage, And man. it's Toriyama, dude. That <laughs> is like right up my alley. It's garbage. <laughs> I also hate in JRPGs that like they, they give you these characters and like, what if you hate the characters that you have to use? Like in Pokemon, at least I can swap out, you know, Bulbasaur. No, or, but like most yeah. JRPGs, like it's, you know, like, especially with the turn-based ones, right? It's like, you can only have four in the party. So yeah. just pick your four favorite characters, right? Well, this one, it was like, you only have these guys and they were shit and annoying characters. <laughs> yeah. So it was like, what am I supposed to fucking do? This game sucks. Oh, and that's not a good JRPG. And then like one of the main enemies was just a snake coiled in like a shit. And the whole joke was that it was a piece of shit. And I'm like, yeah, hilarious. that sounds hilarious. What? It's a piece of shit. It's a metaphor for the game. I'm still annoyed about it. I completed it and I loved playing it, but I literally only played it because it was like, I bought this game and my mum won't buy me another one. So I have to complete it. I, need, I yeah. need to play this now. I, I want you to play it just so yeah. you can like- why, why, How did you get that game again? So what it was is like, you know, I don't know if your game stores had this, but in the mm. UK, they had a three for 20 pounds pre-owned games. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I would yeah, basically yeah. just go to the thing and buy three games that looked okay. Yeah. yeah. And then I would just be forced to play them. Most of the time they were all like super easy. And you had short. an absolute gold like blue dragon. <laughs> well, cause there, there was like, there was like one of each game and there's a whole yeah. fucking shelf of blue dragons. <laughs> just like, take them, take them honestly, like for free honestly, like, it comes with the bag. Was it like a, was it like a well received game at all? Or like, or I think was it's it very mid tier. Like, oh, Really? Very like five out of f 10, six out of uh. 10. And this was my first time ever having to swap discs to progress with the story. <laughs> and that shit pissed me off. Holy shit. Yeah, I, just, I remember that. I just remembered something. What? What? All right. Um, okay. I get rid of <laughs> Gears of War. No, that two. was a good pick. That's a good no, pick. No, no, no. Get rid uh, of Subnautica. Yeah, okay, I'll, Subnautica okay, in there. I'll get rid of Subnautica. Yeah. Um, I just remembered something. Uh, put FIFA. Oh nine. No, get out in of terms of end the podcast. The, <laughs> what the fuck? I just fucking remembered. I was fucking. I got. I was. I had a period in my life where I was obsessed with FIFA. Really? I, I, I am. I am not Were joking. You also smoking cigarettes on a corner, <laughs> playing, playing footy. Yeah. Okay, this is this is during the university. You know, you're you're in a British university. Yeah, Everyone I, I, played I, I, FIFA. I refused. I'd be like, no. <laughs> No, I'm gonna play anything else. <laughs> fuck this game. I just, I, I just remembered something. I, I, I was one of the top 200 players of FIFA at, at a <laughs> really? point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. 
This is like oh, con- this is like just giving me flashbacks. This is like Connor coming out that he used to be like a COD pro. It's like Connor well, used to be a FIFA so, 09 pro. So how are you? How are you with the top 200? How did it work? Is it like rankings or like yeah, it's it's, it's like ranking. It's 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 a literal ranking system, and I, it got to the point where I was just I I just got myself on the leaderboards of uh, of, of FIFA. I don't know and how I, I did it, <laughs> and because I was just obsessed with the game, and like everyone started playing it, so I'm just like. Oh, I, I, I guess I'll play FIFA. So you, you, did you demolish everyone in like your uni dorm? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> because the, because see, here's the thing, because uh, like my, my, my group of mates at, at my uni dorm, uh, they were like super, super competitive over FIFA, right? It was like- uh, this, They were like that in mind. Yeah, and mm. this is how you get bragging rights. See, there was two games. It was COD and FIFA. Mm. And I was just, to, to me, it was just like, FIFA was not like watching football at all. FIFA was just like, <laughs> ball goes boop, 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 boop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and, um, and and yeah, I, I don't know. I just got really good at it. And I don't know how, because um, yeah, I mean- <sighs> Just the British in you. Yes. <laughs> well, yeah, there was two Cause, games. Cause I fucking, I, 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 I feel like it was one game where I got good at really unintentionally. And it was probably the only game I've ever played in my life that I got good at unintentionally. And I don't really like football that much. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you, Doc? What the fuck is wrong with you? I don't know. Top 200 in the world. Like, I hate this game. Like, 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 the like, fact, I just need a worthy opponent. The, the, the fact is like, I had completely blanked that from my memory until like, this, just the now. Shameful, yeah. Yeah. The shameful yeah. time we don't speak yeah, of. Yeah, I'm just like, how the fuck did that happen? How the fuck did I get top 200 in, in the, um, yeah, I top 200 in FIFA and I'm just like, yeah, I just played it and I just kept ranking up and then I just got really bored <laughs> and I stopped playing because, and the reason I stopped playing was because I finished uni and uh, I didn't have a reason to play it anymore. <laughs> wow. No, cause I remember now how it started because I got the game literally just to blend in with the normies. So I, I literally got As the game so I could have something to talk to people about at parties, right? And so- <laughs> I'm one of them. <laughs> he literally bought FIFA as a social gimmick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, start, I started playing it so I could like keep up my mates and everything. Yeah. And then I just kind of figured out a meta, I guess, because you know, it's football, everyone wants to score goals. And then I quickly realized if you just learned how to defend correctly, and if you just could defend good, you are better than 90% of players that ever played that game. Because mm. everyone only wants to score goals. And then so after that, so I've, so after that, then I figured out the broken teams and the broken team was Barcelona because they were the best team mm. in the world at the yeah. time. But then, so most people were picking Barcelona. And then I realized that there was a counter to Barcelona, which was into Milan because Inter Milan had Zlat- uh, Zlatan Ibrahimovic and um, he just completely destroyed the Barcelona defense because he couldn't be shaken off the ball. That's the Swedish guy, right? Yeah, that's the yeah. Swedish guy. Yeah, yeah. He In the game, he was completely fucking broken. So <laughs> in then real once- life, he was completely broken. <laughs> <laughs> so then once I realized that, I, I, just start, I, I just started like, just started beating all my mates. And then I was just like, you know what? Let's just, let me, let's just limit test myself. How, how far I can, how far can I get up with this? And you know, I said top 200 earlier. I'm not sure if it's top 200 or top 300, but like one of the one of the top still impressive. Yeah, yeah. One 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 of the top few hundreds in uh, in the game mm, at the yeah. time. Um, and I just kept li- I just kept playing until I stopped climbing. And yeah, that's that's how far I climbed. And then <laughs> like I just casually told one of my one of my mates that, and he's just like, "Have you ever thought about entering competitions or stuff like that?" And I'm just like, "No, no, <laughs> I don't think I will." <laughs> yeah, because. Yeah. <laughs> because uh, yeah, I just wanted to make anime reviews and watch anime at the time, so I just like had no interest in playing no. that game in my own in my own time. Takes off Adidas tracksuit. <laughs> Don't think I will. I'm in the showers. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I just. I just remember that now. So uh, I don't know what reminds uh, me of that, that, that was, topic. That was like pre the, before the uh, FIFA Ultimate Team nonsense. Yeah, that was, that was before yeah. FIFA Ultimate. Because, I don't know what the fuck is going on right now with yeah, FIFA Yeah, Ultimate. so like right now, like I think if you wanna have a legitimate competitive team in FIFA, mm-hmm. you need a team of a value of around 27,000 real mon- like dollars. Jesus. That's what? how much you on average have to spend to have an actual like top competitive team. Why? So all the pros have spent like thirty thousand dollars plus. So uh, okay, like, I'm fucking hell. Okay, just this, just to compete. This is this is gonna sound so weird after everything I've mm. I've just said. Um, what's FIFA Ultimate? <laughs> Basically, they uh, you know again, this is a hundred percent like an imagine an alien describing how humans converse. Like I'm, yeah yeah, I've never played this myself, but obviously oh. I'm a gamer. So <laughs> I like to keep up with games. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so essentially what it is is microtransactions. <laughs> like imagine anime, like, you know, cause fate, you, can you go against each other in fate? Like no, PvP? No, no, no. So imagine a PVP 
fate where you can build a team just so happens instead of like, you know, two or three characters, it's like a team of like 11 or whatever it is. I think so it's literally playing. FIFA gotcha. Well, yeah, it's like, they're the ones who like, this This is the reason why it started. Like it got so <gasps> bad. God, like, cause, oh so it's literally pay to win. It's a hundred percent pay to win. And yeah. so like to even, so to be like, to be able to compete competitively, you have to have a, the stacked team. To get the stacked team, you'd spend on average like $30,000 to even have a chance of getting the stacked team. What? Dude, that's that's fucked. That's oh, it's, fucked. it's so fucked. And like you, you hear even the pros talk about it. Like there's interviews with them where they're like, yeah, it's not fun at all. Like, <laughs> Like you have to spend this amount of money and everyone's playing the same shit because everyone has the same broken shit. Yeah, it's so fucked. Like, you know, we, we, we sit here and complain about gacha and it's like, yeah, okay. You know, at the end of the day, it is 90% of the time you're not, you're not playing against other people. Mm. And that's where it starts to get real. No, fucked. when, when, like, when, when you start playing against other people, that's, that's where, where that's fucked. where I draw the line. Yeah. Because, because right? yeah, you're like, oh, I, I, you know, I could beat this person or I could, I could have won this event if I yeah. just had that extra broken character. Cause, cause, yeah. cause the way I see it is that with gacha, you, with the gacha games I play, you're playing against a computer or you're playing oh. through to get content. Mm. Um, if it comes, if it becomes PVP, then you are, kind of making someone else's day worse by paying more. You know yeah, what I mean? It's that's, definitely, uh, it's, <clears throat> you're it, making you're making someone else's gaming experience worse because you played more. And that's that's where I draw the line. Yeah, because yeah, I used to, I don't know which game I played. I think I found it on like mini clip or something. Mm. This is like yeah. when I first started earning my own money. And there was like a game where it was kind of like one of those, like you are kind of like, uh, what's that Clash of Clans? Like the really popular mobile game. Mm. One where you build your own fort on your square of the map. Yeah, can yeah, 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 yeah. But it takes like days for their army to arrive. Mm, so right. this was like before even that was out. I was playing a game similar to that on like mini clip or some shit. Mm. And then like, I remember I, I was playing this game and I thought I was doing pretty well. I, I, and I'd only spent like 20 bucks. And I was like, oh, this is, I'm doing pretty good for myself, hey. <laughs> and then literally like a guy who had like, <laughs> the fucking like just perfect, like Putin's palace worth of shit just came in and just one shot my entire thing yeah. that I'd spent months building yeah. just right. because he clearly was like, he had like just oil money or something. <laughs> this man had everything in the game, which must've been like 50K yeah. worth of stuff and just killed me. And I was like, I was like, what the fuck? Imagine what the fuck? Imagine Peter winning a mini clip game. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I was like, I felt bad that I spent 20 bucks on it. Cause I was like, I was like 18 and I was like, oh my God, this is a lot of money. And I was like, this asshole wiped out, not only the hours that I put in, but the 20 bucks that I put in were wiped out and I couldn't yeah. fucking do anything. Yeah, I, I had to sit there and watch his army coming for five days. And then you can drop down the menu, see this man's army. The man had sent like the equivalent of like everything they fought in 300 against me. And I'm literally like- It's like, like the fucking Persian empire. Yeah. yeah, I'm literally there with like my fucking like stick men, like ready. And I'm seeing this army come like four weeks ahead. And I'm like, Fuck, okay. Yeah. Like mom, get the credit card. Yeah, like, what, yeah, am I, yeah. what am I supposed to do? This is so fucked. Oh my God. And a lesser man would have been like, I can win this. <laughs> a lesser man would have thought I could out, I could outbid this man. So this is why people hate microtransactions. Yeah. I get it now. Yeah. I understand gamers. That's, I think from that moment on, as I slowly saw that man's army approach me, <laughs> the resentment built every yeah. day to the point where I was like, I can't, this is fucked. I'm just watching my work be destroyed. So well, I, I guess going back to the FIFA ultimate thing, I'm curious, like how do people even become pros? Does that mean you have like you a- still, You have to legit be good at it. I mean, you know, like there is- Like literally hardly, drop a house deposit. No, you it. have to be good and also have disposable income yeah. to become a pro in FIFA Ultimate yeah. then, I guess. Isn't it sad that when you're going to a tournament, there's probably some people at that tournament who are like, need that money to recoup yeah. the money they put in. Mm. Just to like, isn't that sad to oh, think? Oh, that is, that, that, that is fucked. Like, okay. uh, you know, uh, you know, normally, you know, if you're a, if you're an amazing fighting game player, all you gotta worry about is the the hotel, getting there, and you know, making sure you have enough to live, which is all okay, which is difficult enough. Yeah, yeah. Lie. But you add on that of like, oh, so I I spent fifty k on Peach, like to, to to enter this mat. You know what I mean? It's like this is ridiculous. Like it's so bullshit, man. I feel bad for the like, like the people playing FIFA who like genuinely like the game but have to deal with this shit. Yeah, yeah. I didn't I didn't know he had a competitive scene at all because I I mean I stopped playing after after like oh nine ten. And I'm yeah. just like, okay, that 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 is behind me. I literally blanked it from my memory. So you got out. You got um, out. I got out. Yeah, I got good out. Choice. <laughs> good choice. Um, Shall we move on, gentlemen? Yeah, we're an hour in. We should get. Yeah, we should get moving Let's on. Pull out trash taste coon again and see uh, who's going second. Do you want to pick Joey? Sure. 
Okay, next is Connor. Wow, we literally did this again. Yeah. <laughs> we went in order last time, trying to put these two back in. Yeah. All right, pull mine up, put it up. All right. Check this out. All right, I'm, I'm ready for a lot of toxic gaming right here. I'm um, ready for a lot of pro gaming. I have reasons behind all my picks here. Okay. And also I think some of them you'll be like, yeah. Some of them will be like, what the fuck's wrong with you? All right, here we, all right, go. All right, here we go. Look at this shit. Check this shit out. Check this shit out. Okay. <laughs> Check this shit out. Some good guys. Okay, there's I'm, some here that I was like, all right, fully expecting, uh, yeah, no fully, problem. Fully expected. Some of them? Apex. But, okay, I'm, I'm gonna have to give you points for uh, the, the middle three there. <laughs> Yeah, bro, come on. Especially the very middle one, I was not expecting from you. Super Mario Strikers is like, if you played that game as a kid, you know, you're in the know. It is so good. (laughs) It is legit, like it is an actual crime. FIFA 09 ain't got shit on Strikers. Gom was here being pro at FIFA. I was here fucking (laughs) clapping my friend's cheeks with the super smashes. Bro, Super Mario Strikers, right? If you've played this game, you'll know exactly why this is on here. This shit is God tier. Everyone who's played this game fucking loves it's it. It's the original GameCube one, right? It's, yeah, 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 it's yeah, yeah. so good. And it's so an good. actual crime. We don't have this on Switch. Have you, that, it was that one and, and also Sluggers one? as well, the baseball one. So, oh my God. Oh my God, you just hit me with nostalgia. <laughs> <laughs> Sluggers, so, Super Mario Sluggers so, on GameCube is so good. I had a fucking ordeal trying to get Sluggers on the Wii. Oh really? Really? Um, so what happened with was, is that what, I saw Sluggers somewhere online. I was like, mom, I want this. And it was only available from like Taobao or something on China. Right. Like, so my mom bought it from China. China, mm. Right for me for Christmas, and it was like the one game that I really wanted that Christmas, mm. and I put it in, and then obviously the Wii has um the the has a what's it called uh, region lock region lock oh the region lock yeah so I put it in and I was like why isn't it working mom and obviously my parents have no fucking idea is yeah. that like what is <laughs> we this? bought you the game <laughs> yeah this, the, the, it's the game why isn't it working and we and they, they they didn't figure it out either and yeah. so they sent it back and bought another one from China again. Cause for some, some reason it didn't, it wasn't out in Europe for some reason. Oh really? I think either it hadn't released yet. Cause you know, back then it was like, for some reason they would leave six months between yeah, the right. release and uh, the Europe European. and Australia were always the last ones to get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah, sucked yeah. cause you'd have to see all these YouTube videos. And you're like, I know this exists. Why can't I buy it? Mm. And so it was stuck, I had a whole ordeal. I never got to play it in the end, even though oh, we bought really? it like two or three times. <sighs> I play Sluggers at <laughs> my friend's place and I had the most fun I've yeah. ever played in a Mario spin-off game. I think, yeah. What is Sluggers? It's the baseball it's one. the baseball yeah. one. Yeah. Okay. I it's think so that good. Mario Strikers is the best Mario yeah. spin-off game. Oh, Strikers, <laughs> there's the Strikers, there's Sluggers, and then there's a uh, Mario three on three basketball as well. On oh, the yeah. DS, oh, do you know that one? <laughs> I never played that, but what? it looked good. I played what? that too. Dude, legit. Like, I, I, feel, I feel like you're just naming Mario Party mini games on, now. Dude, honestly, all of the sports spin-offs of Mario are all such fucking solid games. Like Mario Tennis, fucking solid. Mario Golf, fucking solid. I think I legit would put like Strikers like up, like up there with Mario Kart, like mainline. Yeah, I would, I, would I, I think it's I that good. Like, yeah. I, like to me, it's like, yeah, okay. Of course I like Sunshine Gaunt. Yeah. <laughs> of course I like all this game. But like Ma- Mario Strikers, that's when you're woke. You're like, I'm listening. Like if your mates like you want to play strikers, you're like fuck yeah, dude. yeah. Because it was always like you know, are they you know? Because there was this mechanic, and it was probably the funnest mechanic in a Mario game where like yeah. you so your team would be made of two main Mario characters. So you'd have like you could put like Waluigi, and then you'd have like four Koopas or four uh, Birdos or whatever, mm. right? Yeah. And then he could pick like Wario. And so there's this mechanic where you could choose to do a super shot with the main character if they had the ball, mm. and it was basically like a quick time event, and you had to nail it in like the perfect like the the, like the be like a, an arm that would swing and yeah. hit it in the perfect zone. Yeah. If you got it perfect, it would be a guaranteed goal. So it's always a thing of like, holy shit, can he do it? And it was so hard because <laughs> the timing is super yeah, fast. It's, so like, it's, it's fucking tiny. And you have to, I think it's not even guaranteed unless you're past the halfway point. Mm, right. So you have to be past the halfway point to do it. And yeah, it's, it's fucking, it's so, good. <laughs> it's so good. It's so fucking good, dude. But do you want to go through your three by three? Sure, sure. So. Okay, I, I, okay, I got to ask first. I know, uh, you, I know which one you're going to ask why. No. What the fuck is Battalion Wars? Okay, all right. I, I've, nev- I've never heard of that I've before. heard of it. I've right, never dude, even heard of it. If you look up Battalion Wars, it's like one of the highest rated games on like the, the at least this one is on the Wii and the yeah. first one is one of the highest rated games. Dude, it is like a really fucking good strategy game. Oh, really? It's, uh, so it's, a, it's like, um. So I really like the online where it was kind of like, um, it's kind of really hard to explain. Is it like tanks? No, so it was basically like, you'd be given like a set amount of army. So you'd be given maybe like three tanks, uh. four long range tanks, 10 uh, ground units, and there would be a mission. And so the, the way that it worked is like, you would have to try and 
take over or take over a base or push push mm. the enemy out without losing as many people as possible. Mm. Uh, but the online was really good because it was essentially the same thing, but one person was defending a point and the other person had to push. Right, right. And it was really fun because I got really fucking good at it when I was like 15 and I would just keep <laughs> winning and I would like cheese people with strats and stuff. It's such a good game. I played so fucking much of that game. It's so good. <laughs> because I've never heard of this game, right? And I look at this cover and I'm just like, <laughs> this looks like some Chinese knockoff game. That, no, that, dude, no, 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 no. This, 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 this is like the, mum, I want Advance Wars. And mum yeah, goes, yeah. I, we have Advance Wars at home. Can we That's zoom in? <laughs> Can we zoom in on this? No, nah, this is the most- Joe, Really? Fun. Yeah. Oh, okay. Dude, Battalion Wars is legit like a good well, you, game. You, you, can see, you can see the cover here yeah. right now. Dude, it's good. Dude, it's so good. Check out gameplay of it, man. Okay, probably has an I'm just, I'm not, because yeah. I'm just like genuinely curious why I've never heard of this game before. Yeah. It's kind of like, um, I don't know how to explain it. Because it's like, it plays somewhat similar to Halo Wars, but, mm. but quite different. Like, oh, that's it as well. So I completely forgot one of the main mechanics of the game. So imagine a real-time strategy where you can be like, give me con first person control of this guy. Yeah. I'm gonna fucking get on the ground and do the work. Yeah. So you can swap between the units of who you're doing first person. Right, right. So, cause sometimes obviously the autom automation is like good, but yeah. you can obviously be way more like in control and do more damage. So mm. like the, the like, you know, cause there's tanks, there's planes, there's whatever. Like the planes were okay, but if you went first person, you could really fuck, fuck people up with them. Right. Yeah. And you could dodge shit way easier and stuff like that. It, dude, it's so good. It, anyone who played Battalion no. Wars 2 will know it no, fucking no, no, slaps. I'm not, I'm not laughing. I'm, I'm, I'm just realizing that we went through my entire three by three, talked, talked about it for an hour and not once did I use the term mechanic. That's all <laughs> gameplay mechanic. I'm just like, oh yeah, gameplay mechanic. Okay, so That's the selling point <laughs> of games, right? Didn't, didn't mention that once so throughout thing, my entire three by three. One thing, one thing that's gonna be definitely, I guess throughout all of my nine is that like, I really think they have like super re like strong game mechanics. No, 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 I, I look at this and I'm just like, yeah, a lot of these have really strong gameplay loops. Like mm. Guitar Hero, fuck, of course. Dude, yeah, of I, course. Like I, you know me, music isn't my thing. I, I like I like beeps and boops, but Guitar Hero Three, I played the fuck out of that. Trying I to think, get like I think everybody who had that yeah, game played the fuck out of legit, it. Legit, I can't even remember the amount of times I attempted through the fire and flames, <laughs> and like just to like think that I was good, and then watch someone on YouTube like a ten year old crush me. Like perfect at it, yeah. dude. Like because yeah. that was always the game as well. Like no matter what person, like if they were like I'm not into gaming, it's like no no no, I've got Guitar Hero. They're like. <laughs> All right, I'm down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so like that okay. was that was just like such a great game. And also I really value being a game that is so good at getting people who don't game into it. Mm, like I think right. that's so underrated. I mean, who doesn't game nowadays though? Well, I, I, I could get my parents to play Guitar Hero with me. True, true. Which mm. is like, like think of how many games you could, like I'm not, my parents are gonna play fucking Battalion Wars 2. <laughs> Like, how do I, like, yeah, yeah, dad, okay. So we're gonna do is you gotta take first person control of this plane and then uh, you gotta push for the base. No, no, my dad's gonna be like, fuck off, son. If he sees me clapping cheeks with this guitar, he's gonna be like, I wanna try that out. Yeah, yeah. And he did, and it was great. Cause the one time where you could be like, my parents give a shit about my hobby, <laughs> but they don't. <laughs> They're just like, I'll, I'll, I'll humor you for okay, a little yeah. while. Okay, but the thing is, did you own Guitar Hero 3? Mm. Okay, because like I- Only I, one guitar though, I couldn't afford a second. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Cause here's the thing, like I love playing rhythm games. I love playing, especially like when, the, when, like, when we're at the arcade and mm. everything like that. I love playing rhythm games. I've always loved the feeling of playing rhythm games. I've never like gotten to the point when I'm like, okay, I'm going to own a rhythm game now. Too I'm fair. going to mm. practice a rhythm game. I mean, when, when Guitar Hero was out, man, they were like, they, they were fucking everywhere. It was so easy to get like knockoff Guitar Hero yeah. ones mm -hmm. and stuff. Like it was, it was like, before Rock Band came along is when the hype started dying, but like it was everyone had rock. Um, yeah, guitar, guitar hero. hero. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sad because like I feel the fact that I started learning how to actually play guitar mm, yeah. kind of threw me off playing Guitar Hero. Ah, because right, like right. I would like watch people play Guitar Hero and I'd play it as well and I'd be like, this yeah. is really fun. But I could also just be playing a guitar. Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's probably the instrument people who don't like instruments. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah, right, yeah, yeah, yeah exactly, exactly. And even now, like, I still enjoy watching like that uh, that get Twitch streamer who plays Guitar Hero Asai? custom songs. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I love like everything about guitar. It just seems so fun. Oh yeah, and, like, yeah, it's, yeah, it's great. I mean, I think it's a banger. No, no, Why don't you learn guitar? Honestly, it's fun. What? Why don't you learn yeah, guitar? Learn guitar. <laughs> I fucking hate instruments. <laughs> <laughs> like imagine that. How do I get points? <laughs> Where, where's the score system? How do I get ranked? You know, like, it's none of this. It's like know? people who play sports games hate playing sports, right? Yeah. <laughs> <God. laughs> well, you know what other other rhythm game could have been on here that I I I didn't play the rhythm game, but I played the other game of it was yeah. uh, Donkey Konga. Oh yeah, Konga? yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Basically, Donkey Kong the, the Donkey Kong bongos on GameCube, Jungle yeah. Beat, right? Jungle Beat. Yeah, I thought was way better than the. Um, uh, the actual rhythm game one. Yeah, they had the yeah. rhythm game one, which was like, 
Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But then they had like a, a platformer yeah. that was using the bongos. Yeah. Did right. you see this? Yeah. No. Jungle Bro, Beat was insane. fucking awesome. You would like platform and then like you would you'd, like, so if you clap it did a certain thing and then if you like hit both, it would do a certain oh, thing. Oh no, it I remember so that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. literally yeah. replacing yeah. the controller with like two yeah. bongos. And two it bongs. played so well, yeah. like you think it wouldn't. And then like sometimes the, the boss fights were like fucking clapping battles. Yeah. It was so cool, man. <laughs> the, the game was so good. That could be on here as well. But so I think, only, yeah, for, for me, it was like only that one rich kid who had that game and everyone was like, wait, you have it? Well, that, All right, I'm coming over. Well, that was cause like I played uh, the rhythm game one at my friend's house mm. and I was like, mom, mm please get me this for Christmas. <laughs> and then I, I like at the time, I, I, I kind of really regretted it because to me it was like, I paid like three times the price of a video game mm, right. for just one game. Yeah. And, and it was good, but I was like, oh, it's over now. Like, yeah, because for me, it was a choice between Jungle Beat or Taika. Mm, and okay. like, I got Taiko obviously because it's like, it was more, right. yeah, it was, it was yeah. more for me. Right? I, th I, th I think my problem with rhythm games is that I have a hard time looking at it as anything but a party game. Right, mm. um, because like I, I understand people getting mm. getting into rhythm games, but I cannot play a rhythm game for more than like a few songs before I'm just like, okay, oh, no, I, I, I can, mean, I, I, yeah, I could play it for a while. I can yeah. play it for a while. I, I really like. I think one thing that rhythm games I quite like, even though I don't like instruments or care about music much, is that <laughs> I really like the. Uh, you can always like feel like you're improving. Even mm, when you replay yeah. a song or yeah. like when you're going through, you always feel like you're improving. No, I, I, I'll tell you what like rhythm games are. It's it's feeling like you're playing an instrument without going through the boring parts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, like my, my God, like imagine, imagine if you could just learn how to play guitar without having to do scales, right? Yeah. <laughs> like, exactly. like, so like, wait, there's only five buttons. Yeah, I know. That's so easy. <laughs> you mean I don't I don't have to like practice scales five times like yeah, yeah, yeah. like five times every time then just one like rhythm game I didn't put in my three by three, but I could easily put it on there is um Rhythm Heaven. You know oh, that game? Yeah, on the DS. Yeah, yeah, no, I played the fuck it. I played that game popular. so much that yeah. I snapped two DS styluses while playing that game. <laughs> Holy they shit. They can snap, I didn't know those things could snap. Yeah, because I was like so fucking concentrated on it that like, I literally was like, <laughs> and I just fucking your, cracked your it Your DS is just impaled, like the stick yeah. comes out the other side. <laughs> Legit, I played like, the reason why my original DS broke was because I played too much rhythm here. Oh my God. Because it got to the point where like, my touchpad was like, You've damaged oh me God. like so much that the inside is just <laughs> fucked now and nothing responded. It's, it's like your DS is just like that anime character who's just like, who's like gone through hell and just has been like battered and bruised. No, dude, my, my DS fucking like the touchpad on my DS just looked like Bucky's body. It was just like fucking, <laughs> it was just like shattered. It's like, this guy's been through like a thousand your wars. Your DS had so much gunk in it. Yeah, oh dude, it was fucking hell. But oh my God, I had so much fun playing Rhythm Heaven. Any other questions? Um, I mean, everything Sonic else is- Sonic Riders. Yeah, Sonic Riders. Listen, I know this is gonna get flat, right? I'm surprised this wasn't the immediate thing that I was giving flat for, right? Right. I'm just shocked there's a Sonic game on Honestly, here. Like, I, I, I didn't give you flack because I was actually really close to putting Sonic Adventure 2 on my- No, um, Sonic Battle Adventure 2? Yeah, yeah, Sonic, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was, that was, that was, that easily could have been on here. Running around at the speed of sound. Just for like me, like, me like giving like my chows, like steroids, like go on, <laughs> fucking yeah, drug, drug him up, do the race. You know? <laughs> I love that, that was so fun. Um, yeah, I mean like Sonic Riders was like the one game that, cause it came with my GameCube. Right. right. So when I bought the GameCube, it was when it was already dying mm. and they were just literally trying to sell it with anything. Mm, so yeah. I got like um, a bunch of free games with my GameCube for like very cheap. And Sonic Riders was the one that I hated most that came with this game. Right. I was like, I was like, these controls suck dick. It is one like, of the most jank Sonic it's games. It's like so <laughs> fucking jank, right? And like the the learning curve for this game, the mechanics seem completely like overkill mm. for like a kid's game. Yeah. But then after like, I actually sat down and like just for like 20 hours didn't understand the game and like eventually understood what was happening. This game felt so fucking clean. Like it yeah. felt so good. I felt that way with uh, Kirby's air ride as well. Cause right, like, right. for the first like 10 hours, I was like, what Wait, is this? Is, it's not just a racing game? Like, yeah. what, what the fuck is this? I have to like earn my ride and then <laughs> go into, what the right, fuck? Right, Cause there was like this like glide mechanic where yeah, you had yeah. to like jump in the other person's like trail. Yeah. Right. And it was completely jank and it would like throw you out and stuff. And it was, mm. whole, it was so jank, but it was like probably the one game where my impressions on it completely 180'd after I like actually put time into it right. and got good at it. And I was like, wait, this is a fucking clean game. <laughs> and I played it so goddamn much. I played this game so I'm fucking I'm just glad much. to know that I'm not the only one who has like a 3D Sonic game as like a guilty pleasure game. Dude, yeah, it was a good like, game. For me, it was Sonic Heroes. And no, I Sonic, Sonic Heroes. Heroes. I, I could have put Sonic yeah, Heroes on and I'm like, And I didn't put in my 3 by 3 just because like, if I did, I know people will be like, 
You put a 3D Sonic. No, dude, dude, dude. I, I could, I could put Sonic Honestly, like, on I, that. I, I'll I, defend it. I, I have no like fond memories of any 2D Sonic games, but it's the 3D Sonic games. I have fond it's a memories Sonic of. Theme, man. It's a theme song. Yeah, I, I remember I tried to look play because it. it's. There's one reason because I was a Nintendo kid through and through, so Sonic <laughs> wasn't available till the GameCube. Okay, exactly. that's why. Exactly. That's why. Listen, Sonic Riders is a good game. If, <laughs> if you if you learn, listen, like if you watch people play it for the first time, yeah. they'll be like, "This is fucking garbage." Yeah, this yeah. is the worst game ever. But then if you see someone who's good at it, you're like, "Damn, that looks fucking good." <laughs> no, legit, it's a good game. No, it is a good game. I played it. That's why I'm glad to know that like I'm not the only one who's like, you know what? There are good Sonic games. I'm, like, out there. I'm sure so Sonic Heroes, if I replayed it, probably jank as fuck. Oh yeah, yeah I yeah, probably yeah. hate the fuck out of it. And like, I remember that casino level. I fucking hated <laughs> in that game. But I enjoyed Sonic. <laughs> and I remember you just keep dying randomly from stuff in that yeah, game. Yeah, it was I, it was one of the most, yeah, I don't think I played, it was a shit game. Yeah, I don't think I played Sonic Heroes, but I've definitely played some yeah. 3D Sonic games yeah. and I've actually enjoyed most of them. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's shit. Uh, I mean, what else uh, we got? I mean, I mean Black Slug. Ops is self-explanatory. Black, Black, Ops. No, Black Ops 2, that is. I think okay. I've, even though I played- I like, couldn't tell you the difference. <laughs> well, there's a big, there's a massive difference. Okay. Too. Okay. Right, okay. There's, you know, as, if any, you know- good Which one's the one where it literally starts off with the airport getting shot up? That's Modern Warfare 2. Warfare too. <laughs> That's my extent of knowledge of Call Dude, of Duty. Dude, when, when that came out, that was such a big deal. Like, oh yeah, it was a huge like, deal. My mom, like she'd already bought me the game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then she was like, Connor, I've heard about this thing in this game where you kill a bunch of people in an airport. I didn't buy you that game, did I? And I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> you, didn't you didn't buy me that game. <laughs> she was like, oh, okay, good, good, good. And I, <laughs> like, no Russian. <laughs> no, so yeah, Modern Warfare 2 is the one that I probably played the most. Mm -hmm. uh, Modern Warfare 3 is one where I won a bunch of free shit. Yeah. Uh, and then Black Ops 2 was probably the one I had most fun with and that I played competitively like in teams and stuff and mm. I really enjoyed. Okay. It was so fun, it was so clean. Yeah. That game, they like optimized it. It was like the best COD, 100% hands down. The yeah. maps were the best. The multiplayer had like a good rank system, which they'd never had before. Mm. And right. I don't think they ever put back in. Like it was legit good. It was such a, it was just a fucking <laughs> great game. Fantastic fucking game. Anyone who likes COD will tell you that Black Ops 2 is the best game. Yeah, okay. that's that's what I hear most of the time. It's like, it's either Black Ops 2 or Modern Warfare. You're like, this yeah. is all noise to me. It's all pew pew kill is, is, is this how it feels when we talk about music? Probably. I'm like, <laughs> Probably. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm like, cool. Oh, yeah, like it's, 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 has it got the pee pee? It's the most yeah. balanced, you know? It's, it's just a great game. You know? It's just brrr, the game. <laughs> yeah. And I, I put way too many hours and it's what got me into like competitive gaming. And I like really, I, that was like the first esports I started watching. Oh yeah. I had like okay. a really good tournament. Okay. Um, but then all the fucking pro players like weird as fuck at that time. <laughs> they were just like, yeah, it was weird. It was very strange. And then I'm not surprised you have time crisis and metal slug in there. Cause it's yeah, like, it, whenever I, we go to an arcade together and that I, you have metal gear or not metal gear, sorry, metal slug metal or time slug. crisis. Metal, like, yeah. all right, see you later. Metal slug I have always just been obsessed with. Is that the first like, one? Uh, that's metal slug X. I think, oh, I, think slug X, okay. I think metal slug X is like the best game overall. Mm. Um, if you don't know what Metal Slug is, it's a Neo Geo game that was really popular in arcades. And you can probably still find it in a lot of arcades. Mm. Mm -hmm. um, it's aged super fucking well. Oh, it looks so the, good. Yeah, like the sprite work on it for its time was like insane. Yeah. Like, and it, it looks It still amazing. looks insane to this day. <laughs> and it's got like some of the best fucking sound effects, the rocket launcher. <laughs> I love that fucking sound. Missile. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude, they, I love those things. Yeah. You always Sorry. hear those like gaming, com like .exe things. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I fucking love those grenade. <laughs> and, like so good. Like the gameplay is so good. Goddamn clean in that game. Yeah, it doesn't overstay its welcome. It's like his six levels. Enjoy them. Get the fuck out. Yeah. Did you ever enjoy Contra? Contra was really fucking difficult. Like, I mean, it was. That's the, yeah. Yeah. I think the the reason why I don't like I think Metal Slug Three is like probably it's one of the weaker games. Is that yeah. like it goes from like you know level one and two in Metal Slug Three from being you know a fairly challenging game. Uh, to like level, uh, I think four, five, and six, just being absolutely fucking stupid. I mean, yeah. I remember the first time you and I ever like game together, we yeah. played all three of the Metal Slug games back to yeah, back, we did. like Holy shit. one gaming session. It's not long. It's, it's not, not okay. long. Well, like one and two, especially is like, if with two people who've played the game, you could easily breeze through it. And then we got to three yeah, and we were like, <sighs> fuck this game, it's so three, hard. Three, like <laughs> there is, it is like, you have to play that game an absurd amount because yeah. Even if you know where all the enemies are spawning and where they're coming from, it's yeah. like, it doesn't matter because there's just so much bullshit. It's literally bullshit. Yeah, yeah. It's complete bullshit. I just, and they did it just to fuck, fuck with you and take your money. I just realized there should have been another game on my three by three. I'm like, we're talking one? about this. Uh, Mega Man X. 
Oh, I am. Yeah, like, I was, like I'm, I was, I'm thinking. I was thinking like side scrollers. I, yeah. I completely forgot how much I was obsessed with side scrollers. I was, I was tossing up between Mega Man X and Mega Man Two. Right. Yeah. It's just purely. Mega Man X is just fucking. It's it's like it still feels like anime, right? It's got yeah. a, it's got such an anime storyline. Yeah. Um. But my god, like the the gameplay in that is clean as well. And oh, it's like yeah. I forgot how much I loved hard games as a kid. Yeah. Man, I already pussied out. I was like, yeah, <laughs> hey. yeah you did. <laughs> Easy mode only, please. Because <laughs> I'm like. Man, yeah, I remember I completed Contra, um, mm. Super Contra, at least on the SNES. Uh, without, with, the, without the Contra code? Uh, yeah, without the Contra code, Damn. with my cousin. I, Hardcore I, gamer right Yeah, here. I'm just like, what? <laughs> and, and I remember completing Mega Man and that was really easy. What the fuck happened to me, man? <laughs> yeah, because I was exactly the same. Like I, I haven't beaten Contra without the Contra code. Yeah, But yeah. like, I, I remember like how easy it was for me to beat like Mega Man 2. I could beat yeah. it in like an hour. And like, you know, la I think last year or the year before, I was like, I want to stream some retro games. Oh, I'll play Mega Man 2 because yeah, I played yeah. that like fucking crazy. Mm, yeah. Dude, I got like 30 minutes in. I only beat like two like fucking <laughs> robo boss. I'm like, this game is fucking impossible. How did I beat this as like a 10 year old? Because you have patience, man. Yeah. Uh, but no, because yeah. Oh, okay, go uh, for it. But like stuff with like Contra, like I never played as a kid. So when yeah. I play now and like just bullshit kills you, because there's a lot of bullshit <laughs> in Contra, right? Like yeah. I'm just immediately turned off from shit like that. Yeah, where I'm yeah like, no. This yeah. is just bullshit. It's, it's, right? it's, it's weird because I, I'm just like, this conversation has brought back, back so many memories about yeah. how how much patience I had as a kid. Yeah. Cause I remember another game that was uh, people complain about being super hard and super bullshitty was Battletoads. Um, <laughs> and well, I it, was, it was the level with the bikes, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, I still remember the level with the bikes and having to complete that and completing Battletoads. And I'm just like, man, I remember, I'm, I, I think I just blanked it out because there was just so many hours of my life that were just some bullshit level. Yeah. And I just, as a kid, you would just mind numbingly just like fucking learnt it through, um, through muscle memory, yeah, right? Yeah, right? Yeah, and yeah. I would not have the patience to do that anymore. Like if, if it was well, like- you value your time. You're, you're, <laughs> you're like, if there's some like, because battle to by the way, battle toads, let's be honest, is bullshit. That yeah, game oh, yeah. is yeah, yeah. full of bullshit. But I fucking love that game yeah, as a kid. Love, yeah, because you can't, you can't play that now and be like, this is fantastic. Yeah. It's like Ninja Gaiden for me as well. Yeah. Like, that, that game is just ridiculous. Yeah, where it's like, I, I remember I almost beat that game as a kid and I got to like, I think like the second to last level. Now yeah. I can't even get past level one. Yeah, and I, I remember like, I'm, I'm trying to think back, how the fuck did I beat Mega Man X on the fucking SNES controller, right? <laughs> My God, I remember getting like cramps and carpool tunnel from like the, the like like tapping the jump button on the wall, I mean, like on, against oh. some of the bosses, right? At least it's not as bad as a NES controller. Dude, that thing was fucking awful. <laughs> yeah. Sticks pointing in your hands. Uh, yeah. yeah. Man, yeah, I, I, I just think for me, Metal Slug is the best age. <laughs> Just a best overall uh, run and gun. I, I think yeah, I think it's yeah. easily one of the one of the games that's like aged the best. I feel like if you look at any like any indie game that comes out now mm. that is like a side scroller run and gun, it's just, it looks so inspired by Metal Slug. Oh, like, all yeah, the sprite yeah. work is like identical. Of like, yeah, it's it's like the blueprint of like this is how you make a clean run and gun. Mm. Yeah, like, yeah, it's you know Metal Slug, you know three is bullshit, um, <laughs> but like one, two, and X. I mean, X is just kind of two, but yeah. like one, two and X. Like I would highly recommend getting X. I think mm. it's on Steam. One and two are also on Steam. Like you can get all bucks. of them on Steam. Yeah, yeah. go and get yeah. it. It's such a fun game. So um, it's just great. Especially it's when like, you play it with someone else, right? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. so fun. Yeah. It's so difficult yeah. as well. It's, so it's just a great game. I mean, it's clean. Yeah, and, uh, and I'm wondering- Time Crisis, man. <laughs> okay, okay. Time we, Crisis we, we, fucking like the original one, I think yeah. is such a goddamn gem of a game. When you go to an arcade, you see- time I, I still one. think Time Crisis is good. And the only reason I could never progress too far in time crisis was because I never had enough money. Yeah. Yeah, so like, I think once you get over that point of time crisis where you've beaten it a few times, mm. you can beat the whole game, at least game one on one credit, like pretty, really? pretty easely. Yeah, because yeah. you know you know when all the bullshit's coming. Mm. And to me, when I used to play, because like, you know, when you are when you would go to an arcade, right? Because I would stay in like France for like, I don't know, two weeks at a time. Yeah. My parents would give me like two euros a day, maybe if I- How did you people. complete the game? The first time, which is what I want to know. Yeah, I've, 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 like, no matter what, I, I have always run out of money. Yeah, I before. feel, I feel like the first time you played Time Crisis, if you only had like two credits, right? Yeah, you could yeah, maybe was, get past, you know, maybe up to like stage two. So this was like a something over like years, where it was like I would always have, like see it in arcades, and I would always yeah. pick it up, and then maybe if I had two weeks, I would play it like every day for two weeks, mm. right? Or I would like, you know, and as well, I got to the point where, it, when, when, okay, if you had your name on the high score, all of them. So yeah. I would go and try and take all 10 slots <laughs> when I would go, when I would go to like a vacation point. Cause, totally I'd be like there, a Cause I would be there for like two weeks. So I'm yeah. like, oh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take every <laughs> single slot on this thing. Yeah. yeah. But then, I, um, and so eventually what you could, what I would do is, is I would be like, if someone was gonna play it, I would just like 
I would just chill out and I'd be like, oh, that's me by the way. And then they would be <laughs> like, oh, Whoa! Whoa! They, yeah, they, they would be like, oh, you want to play with me? Yeah. And I'm like, hell yeah, give me a credit. And they'd, they'd give me a credit right? and I could just play. <laughs> you literally game the system. No, yeah, yeah. But, then, but then it was bullshit because some people, uh, some of the systems when they pulled out the plug at yeah. night, like it would wipe all the high scores. <laughs> oh. That was like my worst nightmare. Cause I would, I would get the high score, <laughs> yeah. you know, feel real good. I'd come back the next day and I'm like, where is it? Where is my high school? <laughs> my street cred, gone. Just like that. Yeah, I'm like, no. How did you prove that that name was you though? That's what I want to know. People just took your word for it? Um, That's a good question. How did I do that? I guess it's just the old system, right? Of just people just took your word for it. Right? <laughs> I guess, the old system. Yeah. I guess the moment they I put the coin in, I started fucking just destroying everyone. They'd be like, I think it's him. <laughs> it's, you know, it's the old speed run rules, right? It's like, yeah. you don't need, you don't, we don't need video proof. Yeah. We, yeah. we trust the we just, juice. Well, because like, if you're a rookie, right? Time, they'd go like this, you know? I would yeah. just like, so I would like get, yeah, I would, yeah. Like, I would yeah. like get the thing and I'd like, <laughs> and, like yeah. and then like flick it off, like that. Yeah. Cause, cause you hit, in time crisis, right? This guy's good. So yeah, cause the way, right? I love Learned, right? I'm like, wait, the, the normal way of shooting. So if you, I'm, I'm assuming most people who are watching this have seen or played a time crisis. If yeah. you haven't, it's the one where you put your pedal down on the thing mm, yeah. and then you pop out to shoot. Yeah. That should be enough to let you know. I mean, I assume if you've left your house, been to an arcade or anything or been bowling, you've seen this thing. It's, yeah. it's fucking everywhere. Basically it's the best arcade, uh, arcade game you can play right. if you don't live in Japan or yeah, Asia. Right. And I realized right after a while, I'm like, right. If you're doing the whole, like holding it with two hands, pointing, shooting, your finger isn't fast enough. And the way the time crisis works, with points is that you had to, like there would be this, like a, a smash combo. Right. But when yeah. you shot a character first, there was like a split second where you could keep shooting them with bullets right. yeah. to get more points and combo it. Mm. So if you shot someone once, that's it. You only got like 10 points. You could unload like eight bullets into one person. So what you'd have to do is, is when they would all pop up on screen, you had to get like max amount of points on each person on screen. Right. So I would unload the whole mag into one character. So that's how you had to be like- A man just like discovered turbo mode. No, yeah, yeah. so it was literally like, imagine like you'd have to like, I literally just learned the technique of like spamming this thing like this. I would like yeah, twitch yeah. my hand. So it'd be like, oh shit. Like, and then I would do it for everyone on screen. Mm. And so that way no one came close to beating me in school. Yeah, yeah. And then I would rem remember the points where like, I think in time crisis one, or two, there's a point where you get a machine gun. And if you, you could like juggle the cover mm. so that you could keep your combo even while going in cover. Mm. Mm -hmm. So you could like juggle it to get an absurd combo. <laughs> this man at age yeah. 10 is optimizing game. No, I was, <laughs> so I remember this Learning is Learning how to speed at like, time at, at like literally like age 13, I was doing this. And then like, it was like, yeah. I Min maxing time crisis, yeah, let's go. I, I loved it. And then, you know, then you start playing time crisis three and four. So two was nice. Two was when they introduced like, sorry, am I gonna go too in depth here? No, 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 no. So, yeah. so Time Crisis one, all you had was the pistol yeah. and you could do boom, boom. Time Crisis two, they started introducing like weird shit, like machine gun, grenade, yeah. shotgun. You're like, all right, whatever, cool. Time Crisis three is where they start getting fucking weird with it. And they start introducing all this dumb shit. And yeah. now we're on like seven yeah, and it's like just that. garbage. Like it's shit game where you just get fucking shot. It's like, it's like House of the Dead now. Well, you were playing five the other day and you said five was all right. It's okay, but like they introduced like, they, I feel like they, they did what, how House of the Dead did. Mm. Like where House of the Dead was an amazing arcade game. Mm -hmm. One was pretty challenging. Two was quite difficult. And they started adding a few things that were like, that's, tri that's tricky that. And yeah. three onwards, they just started adding shit that would just kill you. Yeah, like right. unless you literally like perfect headshot yeah, and everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cause you've played it right. Yeah. And there's times where you're literally hitting everything on House of the Dead in and the it's arcade. Just like, it's and like, it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, you're just fucking dead. And it's yeah. like, this game fucking sucks dick. Fuck this game! You just took my money, and I don't like it. I'm a good gamer. You're literally, you're literally that kid, in, you know, in Persona Five. You know, the kid in the arcade yeah, who like yeah. teaches you the gun moves. That's literally. I'm, him. I'm, I'm, I'm just sitting here, and I'm, I'm just thinking. I don't think I've heard Connor talk more passionately about something like since I've been friends with him. As, <laughs> like, as time crisis. Time crisis is the best game. <laughs> and I also had it on PS2. So that also helped. Okay, in the wow. Okay, okay. No, no, that, I, that, I was, had, that was the next stage up, right? So yeah. I, had, I had Time Crisis 2 on the PS2. And so mm -hmm. when I went to the arcade, I was like, it's just like the simulations. Like, <laughs> been waiting to use that meme. <laughs> it was literally like that. Cause I was like, I already know exactly when, when is the optimization. I like, I, I know all the levels off by You're heart. fucking yeah. matrix, like I'm hacking in. <laughs> well, that was the thing as well. I was like, cause, cause you were like, you were broke and you didn't have credits. You, I would legit, like, I, like it was the same thing with Metal Slug. I would yeah. be yeah. like, I would just go up to the kids and I'm like, hey, I'm really fucking good at this. If you give me a credit, I'll help you get really far. And they yeah, would be yeah. like, oh, okay, sure. <laughs> Cause then it was a win-win. Cause even though I was doing all the work, they yeah. felt like they were getting an extra 15 minutes of fun where they would have got two. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, it, that's that's the thing, right? Where, you know, that, I mean, I guess arcade games were, were the original pay to win. Yeah. Because, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because that, that you know, no, like, like I'd, I'd never met a single person who had completed Time Crisis. Cause how the fuck does any kid my age complete yeah. Time Crisis? Yeah, I, I, would, I would like, 
I would like have a fit in my head if I even got hit once in Time Crisis <laughs> after a while. Cause I was like, I knew where they all should have been coming. This man's yeah. trying to no hit Time Crisis. Yeah. <laughs> well, it, it was like, it was so fun. Cause after like, like you said, right? You're not supposed to, the, the yeah. games weren't designed for you to play it this much. Yeah. Yeah. But this is also why they started upping the difficulty of arcades. Cause people would just sit there all day yeah. and complete games on $1 and get 30 minutes when they should have been getting two minutes. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? God. And so that's why they started upping, you know, now it's like all the arcade games, like even the ones that used to be like pretty fair and used to mm. feel good are just bullshit. Like, yeah. like the Mario Kart arcade game now, fuck it, that's, that game sucks. You get one race and yeah, it's over. It's shitty. You know, like if you were doing like Daytona back in the day, if you were fucking good at that game, you kept to get, you kept playing because mm. you kept getting to the checks points. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. But now it's like, you get one race, fuck off. That was $3. Yeah. It's like, no, just just cause you got to take a picture with me and put it on the character. You think that's enough to keep me happy? <laughs> no, fuck off Mario, this is shit. Yeah. Although well, that, to be fair, every time I see that and I'm with like three other people, I'm like- They always want to play it. <laughs> they you, wanna? You, wanna, you play it and then every time you play it, you're like, all right, that's yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, people want to play because it it's Mario Kart. Yeah, then people... and then it plays worse than the actual Mario Kart. Yeah, yeah, How yeah. do they do that? It's supposed to be better. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm so passionate about arcade. Because <laughs> arcade games suck now. <laughs> See Dog VA, the fall of arcade games. <laughs> <laughs> That's some good- The one. rise and fall. <laughs> yeah, the rise and fall. I, actually, you know the what? The absolute state you know, of you know, arcade games. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think we spoke about it on the podcast before, but Typing of the Dead in, in uh, yeah, I, think, yeah. I, hope it, I think I hope it isn't in the one that closed down because one of the game centers in Akihabara closed down. Right, mm -hmm. right. And only one of them had Typing of the Dead. Yeah. Which you don't know what Typing of the Dead is, Google it. Uh, yeah, that's good. Um, the JoJo Battle Royale is okay. It's, yeah. okay. it's like a it's like an Unreal Engine mod. It's, it's kind of shit. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's no real arcade games now. Except, oh, wait, the Mech one. We even spoke about that, have we? Oh, the no, giant mech. The giant mech one. Yeah. That yeah. was that's fucking, fucking amazing. Badass. We don't know what it's called, <laughs> but here it is. <laughs> so we know what it looks like. You yeah. get to pilot a mech. Like you literally sit in the cockpit, yeah. you have to put a seatbelt on, <laughs> and there's like uh, gas pedals, drift yeah. pedals. Yeah. And it's like 4D cinema, so it actually moves. Yeah, it, it, as it you moves, move. it moves as you are flying about. Yeah. So you are literally as close to a mecha pilot and, as you can possibly be. And it's got ranked PvP. <laughs> so you literally, you literally like you all jump in the mechs with the boys and yeah. you can yeah. PvP against other it's players. It's literally capture the flag. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's like domination from the card, I think. Mm, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And yeah, you literally like, it's so fun because when you smack down that thrust and drift pedal, the Ooh. fucking the chair jumps back. Yeah. It jumps back and then it's like 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 yeah, like oh, what is it like when a chain's going up on the roller coaster? Like, yeah, do, 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 like drifting. You're like, yeah, yeah. it's so good. And you, like drifting in the air and just firing missiles at the same time. Yeah. And, it's so good. And just doing with that with the boys. You're gonna man. like switch out the gun and like reload the other one as yeah, you're yeah, shooting yeah. it. It's oh like, god. Yeah, yeah. God, dude, we should go to an arcade after this and play if, it. If yeah, you, yeah. If you come to the Japan, you've got to check this out. This is like everyone says rhythm games, no, this is the best arcade game I've played in Japan, yeah. bar none. Yeah. I believe okay. it's, is it Sega? Yeah, it's Sega. Yeah. It, it's, it's, I've only seen it in a few are uh, like- I saw it in round centers, one though. and I saw it in Sega, but like, yeah, it, it's actually insane. I think it's, is it $2 or $3 a play? It's like, yeah, $2. Not enough. <laughs> yeah, it's $2 a play, I think, but like, one play can yeah. last you, you know, like, it's like 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'd happily play like, pay like, five pounds if Dude, it was like so in the UK. Yeah. Cause my God, you get to pilot a mecha. Yeah. That's so cool. It's so good. It's oh so, God. Like, I don't even know what's going on. Cause I can't read what the fuck, the fuck they're saying. Yeah. yeah. Like I, I, yeah, I love it. It's so fun. The game I mean, play. I can read what they're saying, but I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Like, it's, like, yeah. it's not important to me. All right, before we move on. I'll okay, I'll like, I, I, I like, I, Halo I'm wondering Wars. why, okay, before we get to Halo Wars, I'm wondering why you put Apex over, over League. All right, okay. Is this, I'm, is this recency bias? I noticed that. I think there's definitely a bit of recency bias. Yeah. Um, I don't know for me, League of Legends was fun and I really, really, really enjoyed the time I had with it and it could easily be on here. Mm. Yeah, uh, I think Apex is on here just because like, I don't know, a Apex made learning Japanese fun for me. Okay. Like, isn't that, isn't that fun? Yeah, like, cause you're actually using it, right? Yeah, yeah and yeah. like for me, Apex has been such a door opener like right now, like mm. it's just like everyone's playing Apex right now. And like, it's so easy to be like, yo, play Apex, let's jump in, mm. you know? Yeah. Like, uh, I don't know, just a anyone it's like, especially Japanese or like, VTubers, it's like, yo, yo, let's play Apex. Let's yeah. do it, let's yeah, chill yeah, out. Yeah. Um, I don't know, it's so fun. And I feel like it's it's like, even though I just started playing it recently, I have been playing it. I did start playing it at launch. Mm. Right. And I feel like the game's only gotten bigger and better now. And I feel like that's rare for games, especially Battle Royale. Mm, yeah. Like, I feel like it's more popular now than ever. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I, I would say, say so. that. I say so. And it's <clears throat> fucking massive in Japan. Yeah, yeah. Um, VTubers, man. They, they just dude, completely yeah, right. broke the system. Yeah. It's crazy. I mean, you know, it's, it's, Crazy seeing how like when it came out, you know, the story of Apex is that they, 
they literally announced Apex Legends, I don't know if you knew this, mm. a day before it came out. Oh shit, really? Because what happened was, is that it was made by the same people as Titanfall. Right. Mm -hmm. So EA thought, so it's published by EA, but it's made by Respawn, the people who made Titanfall, who made Call of Duty, Modern mm -hmm. Warfare 2 back in the day. Mm -hmm. So you have that you have that clean FPS gameplay combined with a nutty movement of Titanfall. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so what happened was is that they literally were just like, oh, by the way, here's a new Battle Royale. And because they thought it was going to bomb because right. it was made by the same people who had made Titanfall yeah. with no Titans in it. Yeah. Mm. And everyone was like, yeah, I'm not playing that. We're the fucking mechs. The mechs right, were the right, best right. part. Yeah. But yeah, no, it was a surprise hit. It fucking blew up. The gameplay is so fucking clean. Like, I mean, I, I've like, from what I heard, Apex was just battle royales, but just was with every mechanic refined. It yeah, was it's so good. It's yeah. so fun. And, you know, it's really like, Weirdly, one of the most beginner-friendly battle royales, I think. Yeah, like, well, what I want to know is, has it gotten to a point where everyone's just really fucking good at the game yet? And no, then there's no, a meta no. and everything's broken. The matchmaking is surprisingly <clears throat> good. Like when I play ranked, I really struggle like against people my own level. Mm -hmm. When I go in like normals, if I'm like playing with uh, someone who's like got a really bad stats to like even us out, like I can feel like a god, <laughs> but you know, so, like, so in other words, yes, but he's on the other side. Now. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 because no. I'm, I'm, I'm playing, you know, I play with some people who are like, you know, arguably have no hands. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and they seem to have the time of their life. Right. And I'm, you know, to me, I would be like, that's not fun. But right. they seem to, you know, they, I, again, people who, you know, because it's such a position heavy game, it's mm. not about mechanics, it's yeah. more about, do like, okay. Are you if are you standing out in the open and someone else is on the high ground shooting at you? You're probably gonna fucking die. Yeah. Okay. But like you know, it, you don't need to have like aim god CS:GO shit. That's like I hate that shit. Fortnite felt like that as well. Like mm, I feel that yeah. like if you just have like some form of game knowledge, which you can easily learn, you know, it's easy. And all the characters are really unique. It's really fun. Like I don't know, it's great. I really think you guys should try it out. Try it out with me. Apex okay. Trash Taste Stream. <laughs> Literally every episode. Every, every episode. I'm gonna keep saying it until it happens. <laughs> Trash Taste Apex, when? It's good, like, and legit, like, I've made so many new friends from it. And yeah, like the other- Week 47 of asking the boys <laughs> to play Apex. Yeah, right, literally, literally. <laughs> uh, like, and so the other day I actually met up with people who I met up on Apex. Mm. I met on Apex. Met oh, up cool. with two Japanese guys. Oh, really? Cool. Spent the whole night trying to talk Japanese. It was very like taxing. My yeah. God, I realized I was an hour into talking only Japanese and I was yeah. like, fuck, I had to do this for like another four hours of like <laughs> not being able to communicate. Yeah. Um, it, it will do wonders though for you. Oh Japanese. no, it was definitely yeah. helping. Yeah. Like I feel like I definitely have like the basics completely locked down. Like yeah, it's all good. muscle yeah. memory. Like I could just say shit, mm -hmm. just talk nonsense, you know. Yeah, it's good stuff. Or chin chin big, you know, all, all yeah. the stuff you need. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's the only sentence that matters. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was fun, you know? It was just crazy to think that I met these guys from just chatting shit on a video game, literally just going in a lobby and screaming broken Japanese. And then I was hanging out with them, you know? That's cool. Um, that's cool. Yeah, it was just chill. Like it's, I think that's- it's, a bit, it's all about the friends we made along the way. <laughs> you know, I, and honestly, <laughs> I, I have made which friends- you, Which you can't say about League of Legends. Exactly. I have made friends from League of Legends, but like, it just felt like- I can't, I can't imagine making a friend from a guy you met in a lobby in League of Legends, so. <laughs> Well, that's the thing. It was always weird friendships with them. Like with Ape, with it, because it was always like, we were the same rank. We played rank together. And yeah, it was always yeah. this weird thing of like, that That was what it was. And we right. were like, we, our friendship was tangential on the fact that we were both the same rank and we were good enough to play together. Mm. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. in Apex, it's like, oh, you know, I, I you know, I, I play with a guy who is called Kyoshan. He's like a 45 year old man right. from like West uh, Japan who's, fucking awful at the game, but he's, he's really funny. And so like, that's like, you know, I, I like playing with him. That's and cool it's though. just like, there's no, it feels chill. It's a really chill game, but it can be a really intense game if you want it to mm. be. Yeah. And it's like perfect because it has like enough lows in it where you can just talk. And then when the moments where you're like fighting, it's like, all right, let's focus on fighting. Right, all right. Right. So that's why it's on there. I legitimately think it's the best battle royale I've played. I've played so many of them. It deserves to be on there. It's a fucking great game. Play Apex Legends. Um, and finally, Halo Wars. I'll quickly talk about this. I played, I have probably put, more hours into any game here. Uh, Halo Wars is probably the, the game I put most hours into. Really? Why Halo Wars? I don't know what it was. It was made, what made me fall in love with RTSs. That game was terribly unrefined and, and awfully unbalanced. Yeah. And you know- it I've never played Wars, but that's all I've heard about. Yeah. That yeah. it was like extremely unbalanced. I think it was the case of, I was very fortunate that my my four, like I had, I had three best friends and we all loved Halo Wars. Mm. So it was a case of every single day, we just went home and played Halo Wars against yeah. the people. And it was just like the perfect game to chat to and also be like, you know, all right, do this, do this. Yeah, I, I really like the idea of RTS games. Yeah. I like, I, I mean, I, I 
remember playing Command and Conquer mm. so fucking much. That yeah. was my, that was my RTS game. But I, I like I've never got into RTS like more than just build a bunch of soldiers and then click on click on anyone who looks like you funny. Well, like that 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 is well, that, that that's like my tactics when it comes to RTS I, games. Yeah. I think the one thing that I really loved about Halo Wars is that it really did two v two and three v three well. Mm. I can't think of a single RTS game that has three v three. Like, yeah, can you yeah. name it? It's always 1v1. Yeah. And like, I find that like boring. Yeah. Like the fact that I can be there with my <laughs> mates and we can all back each other up. And mm, then like, yeah. you kill one dude's army. Fuck his, his, his friend's army is literally coming to wipe <laughs> you out. And then you're like, bro, bring in your army. Where you at, man? Where you at? What the fuck? That actually sounds really fun. Cause no, that's yeah. so fun. That, that, I guess that's the reason I never played PVP in any RTS, yeah. even though I know there is there. Yeah. I just played the campaign and I'm just like, I can complete the I, campaign, I, I, whatever. I was like, and it's a chill game. Cause it's like the games were never more than 20, 20 30 minutes. Mm. They were normally 15, 10 minutes. So it was great because what would happen is, is like, you know, there would just be moments where your mate or there would be like all three of them would be attacking your mate and none of you are ready. And you're like, yeah, I'll see ya. But I'm, I got, just, I got I'm just trying to think, did I play Fuck any no, like I'm, I'm just realizing my, my, my three by three is a lie. Why is Red Alert 2 not on my three by three? <laughs> Red Alert, Command and Conquer Red Alert 2. That's is a good like, game. That's, that's a, a game. fucking amazing yeah. game. And not many people remember it. Halo, oh, Halo Wars 2 God. is pretty good. It's on, uh, you play it on PC. It's pretty good. Uh, Does, are the Civilization games RTS? Yeah. Mm, are well, they, they're, mm, they're like no. turn-based. It's like almost turn-based, yeah. right? Cause I, I played really, the, really like Civilization I played Civ 2 well. like fucking crazy back in the day. I feel like it's in the category. It's in the yeah. category. It's just like yeah. a different style. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> like I play Civilization every now and again. Cause yeah. you know, when you get that feeling of just replaying a game every now and again. Yeah. So I get that with Civ sometimes. And I'm just like, I play one game. It lasts, it lasts like eight hours. Yeah. I'm like, okay, I've, I've, I'm, that's, that, that, that's, that's my one out the window now. Yeah, I've, I'm much. satisfied. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean, that's, no. honestly, Halo Wars is a great game. I'm sure if anyone played it, who mm. like played it with mates. I would, I would fun. love to play an RTS that's like, 2v2, oh, We 3v3. can play Halo Wars too. I mean, it's I'm 3v3, fucking, 3, right? I'm yeah. fucking down for Halo Wars, Halo man. Halo Wars? Wow, you got a beast PC now. <laughs> yeah. Halo Wars 3 is- uh, Halo Is it Wars, on PC? Halo Wars 2 is on PC. Yeah, and it runs really well. Oh, I've got man. I've gone so many games that I just I'm, I'm I know I'm gonna go home today and be like okay I'm downloading yeah. all these games now time to replay all these twenty <laughs> something well, here, games. Here's what we should do: we should all do like a a, a a day where we all just say like let's all play each other's like choice of game yeah, together. Yeah. Sure, we should do that. That yeah. should be fun. Yeah. We'll do we'll do it. All we'll right, we'll, we'll stream it. it all. Be a whole day thing. We'll go, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, should we move on to Joey's? Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. All right. All right. Prepare <laughs> for one of the normiest. Fucking three dude, by three. Dude, dude, I, I mean, you've already had my three by three. Okay. Yeah, well, look at this. <laughs> 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 Bro, this is- There you go. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, uh, l Let me ask, shocked by any of them? <laughs> so you're like a, a death below, like completely normie then. You, you haven't gone from Final Fantasy seven. Well, no, I think six is like the, the second normiest choice. You played Terraria? Yeah, dude. I didn't know Terraria was like up in your top nine. Okay, Terraria, I've dead ass. Like if you go onto my Steam, I've yeah. dead ass played Terraria for about 500 hours. Oh I was so into Terraria when it first came out. Like, I, we, like, do, we don't need to talk about Persona though, right? Okay, yeah. yeah I don't all, need, okay, obviously all, I don't need to talk about, about Persona, Persona 5. Right? I don't really need to talk about Breath of the Wild, obviously. Um, why Super Mario World out of all of the Marios? Okay, Super Mario World for me. Okay, because a lot of these games, like especially the older ones, like um, yeah. Kirby's Nightmare in Dreamland and Final Fantasy VI and stuff like that. Yeah. I got them as hand-me-downs from my cousin. Yeah, like me, my too. Okay. My cousin. Okay. me too, me too. So like basically all the Super Nintendo games and like, especially like Kirby games, especially. Um, yeah, all hand-me-downs. And Super Mario World was one of the first like Mario games I like properly mm. sat down yeah. knowing it was a Mario game. Yeah. Like, you know, there's like games when you're like really, really young, where it's just like, this is just a video game, but yeah. I don't know like what this is. It's just a fun thing that's on yeah, my yeah. screen. Kind yeah, of yeah, yeah. But Super Mario World was the one where I was like, okay, I'm playing this knowing fully well that this is a Mario game and that I love Mario games. And you can't you can't hate on that. That's literally yeah. like one of the best games of all time. It is yeah, one of the yeah. best <laughs> fucking platformers. Uh, like it was a tie between Super Mario World for me because we can only choose one game per franchise, right? Yeah, so obviously yeah, right. for a Mario game, hard as fuck for me to choose, but yeah. it was a tie between Super Mario World and Yoshi's Island. Oh, Yoshi's Island. Yeah. I fucking love Yoshi's Island. I was like, Island. both of them are like, Equal number one for me. Right. Um, but I, like IGN top games of all yeah. time. Like, this one I'm looking Honestly. At. Like, except for Clan Ad. That's, that, that's yeah, just, yeah, yeah. Clan that's Ad, just Joey, yeah. That's Clan like Joey's like individual. Like, yeah. yeah. Clan Ad for me was just like, okay, that's what like really sold me <laughs> yeah. on like anime games. I, out, out of everything on here that like, well, well, I, 
that will make it known that it's a Joey list, it's clan ad. Yeah, it's clan ad. <laughs> if, yeah, you, not- if, if you remove that, like I literally have no idea. If you remove clan ad, it's like, oh, I see you were also born in the 90s. This, this is because like, you typed in top Wii game, top PS5 game. <laughs> Top top Game Boy game, top NSNES game, and then you've been like, I'll have those, I'll have those. Yeah, okay. Wait, wait, which which Super Mario is it? Where there's like there's a level where there's a sun trying to kill you. That's Super Mario Brothers three. I had nightmares of that. Really? Of that sun. I couldn't beat it, and <laughs> I kept I kept having nightmares. Yeah, about dude, that, sun that game's fucking hard. Like, that level yeah. is fucking hard. Yeah. Have, have I, you have you guys ever played the original Mario? Yeah. On the uh, NES. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I think I think I've actually played every mainline I mean, Mario game. Because okay. fucking Nintendo re-releases it every fucking year and <laughs> yeah. says, t- pay me 10 bucks for the same fucking game. And I'm as, like, okay. As, as, did you play as a kid? No. Yeah. Okay. No. As a kid, did you want to eat the fucking chocolate, the bricks? Was that just me? No. <laughs> <laughs> but like, yeah, as a kid, I remember I, I have a distinct memory of just looking at the bricks and just thinking, man, those look delicious. <laughs> They kind of look like chocolate. That that is definitely like, I I hope you didn't say that out loud because your parents were like, oh God. (laughs) Oh fuck. We should should take this game away. (laughs) Oh God. Oh God. God. All right, that's just me. (laughs) Okay, but like much like Gaunt, right? I I think my three by three is a little bit of a lie because there's a bunch of games on here because to me, I was like, okay, for me through and through, I was always a Nintendo simp. I was Nintendo simp from the moment I got my first game console to today. Yeah. But- because of that, I feel I've kind of put too many Nintendo games on my three by three. I mean, I mean, like it's, I, it's, it's, it's the first thing that came to your mind, right? Yeah, but so. I would. Okay, there's one game that I would fucking put on here on the Xbox, and uh, that's. Uh, do you know this game called SSX Tricky? Yeah, of, course, of course. Oh my god! <laughs> I forgot about that. I put so many hours into that game. That oh, was such shit. a good, that was I'm such sorry. a good fucking game. Oh my God. Dude, SSX Tricky. Okay, for those of you who don't know, SSX Tricky is the game. snowboarding yeah, game, yeah, 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 yeah. right? And it, did you play Snowboard Kids as well on the N64? Or was that just me? Oh, I played a little Snowboard bit of that. Snowboard Kids. Yeah, I played a little bit of that. I think I think it was the first time I saw SSX Tricky because I think my dad got it. Yeah. Because like my dad was the one who bought the Xbox because he wanted to play like a bunch of like racing car games. And yeah. one of the racing car games that me and my dad fucking bonded over was Burnout 3. That's a fucking, yeah. That's yeah. a fucking amazing game, which Dude. I would also put on my three by three. But like he Burnout also 2. brought home this game called SSX Tricky. I'm yeah. like, I never fucking cared about snowboarding. I didn't know what the fuck this so thing Joey, was. Joey, we haven't seen snow. We live in Australia. Yeah, yeah. Let's I, go and do snow No, sports. legit. The first time I ever saw snow was an SSX Tricky. <laughs> But like, wow. I played it and the moment you hear that fucking title screen music, yeah. I was like, hell the fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like to me, I'm, I'm just getting reminded, but SSX Tricky is on like the same level as Tony Hawk yeah, in, oh, yeah. in my mind, in terms yeah. of just addictive yeah. gameplay. Yeah. Where SSX Tricky, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. Yeah, I, 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 never, like, I never played any of these games. Oh, so like SSX Tricky, uh, I don't know. The, I think the one thing, I fucking optimized the fuck out of SSX Tricky yeah, yeah. because it was probably the one game where I was like, no, no, no. This isn't the perfect score. I know I can fit one more trick that, into that's this how you know when you're addicted to a game. It's like, yeah. I, I, I know I can fit like one more 180 into this like trick combo mm, of this one yeah. shot. And I would just keep fucking playing this over and over and over and over again. I, I think I 100%ed it actually. It was probably one of the first games I 100 percent I think I was close to 100%ing it as yeah. well. Um, I mean, all of these games I've 100%ed essentially. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, in terms of like uh, Pokemon Silver, the original Silver, it's the one game where I've actually broken the in-game timer. <laughs> like I played so much of silver, right? Yeah, you're telling me about that. Yeah. Yeah. Like, how, how'd you do that? How, okay. what, what is the in-game timer? The in-game timer, the max in-game timer is 999 hours. Yeah. And that's reasonable. Which is reasonable. It's like a thousand hours, right? But the only way I achieve that is because of like, you know, obviously you play through the game and then you're like, okay, well I've finished, I've gotten all 16 badges. What do I do now? Yeah. Complete the decks. Okay, I'll do that. What's the step after that? Get every Pokemon to level 100. Okay, I've done that. Right. Get all the shinies. <laughs> and I did that. With you? What the fuck? I did that. You did that to yourself? I did that to myself because it, at the time, right, I was borrowing my friend's Game Boy Color. Right. Like we kind of like, this was during the time where like, I had like a couple of childhood friends like lived nearby where yeah. we met each other often enough where it's mm. like, can I borrow your N64? Or can I borrow your Super Nintendo or whatever? Yeah. So I never actually owned the Game Boy Color and but I had Pokemon Silver. Um, I, I don't remember where I got it from. Maybe I borrowed it from a friend. Never gave it back. I don't know. <laughs> probably like that. Yeah, probably something like that. Mm. But like, I borrowed the Game Boy Color enough times where I was like, it, and it was the only this Game is Boy mine Color. Now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and also, Silver was the only Game Boy Color game I had. Right. As well. So it's like, whenever mm. I saw the Game Boy Color just sitting on my desk, I'm like, well, oh, I mean, I could just fucking 
play this yeah, you know, yeah, for yeah. a bit mm, and I kill yeah. some time. And as a kid, you know, you have no concept of time as you're playing a game, right? So right. it's like, so yeah, I just fucking was like, well, literally got nothing else to do other than I guess I'll just try and catch all the shinies. <laughs> Oh my god. And I fucking did that. And that I That sounds like torture. And I maxed out the in-game clock. I was like, oh, 999 is the max. All right, I got Jesus it now. Jesus yeah. Christ, Joey. I'm telling you, yeah. like you think you're like, you know, God thinks he's like, you know, once you're into a game, you get addicted to it. Yeah. No, I get fucking addicted. No, 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 I know, I know, I know you do. You're, you're on another level I to me. I am like another level. And like Kirby's uh, Nightmare in Dreamland was the first ever game I owned because right. the Game Boy Advance was the first console I owned. I think I've played that game. I don't, I've never played a single Kirby game. Okay, this game was the game that got me into Kirby. And right. like since then, I fucking love every Kirby game. And like, I'm, I'm telling you like, th if you're ever feeling sad, just play a Kirby game. It might be the most like your childish. Yeah, yeah. Is like, yeah, it, so I'm gonna prescribe you a copy of Kirby's Dreamland. Li literally, if like, you might think it's like childish and dumb and like fucking easy or whatever, mm. yeah. but it is literally impossible to play a Kirby game and not be happy. Like it's it's just it there's challenge just, accepted. There is there is something Depression about speed run yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's something about it where it's like I might be in the shittiest fucking mood yeah. and I'll play like 30 minutes of any Kirby game mm, yeah. immediately happy. Mm, right, right. And like, I think that's why I liked playing it. Cause I was like, I don't want to play a game that makes me sad. I mean, later on in my adulthood, <laughs> I was like, yes. So he's yes, like heavy I want, rain. Yes, yeah. yes, heavy rain, <laughs> yes. Metal Gear Solid. Give me all of that yeah. shit. Yes, yeah, so, uh, I, I would like a bit of depression, please. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> and I think again, like that's another reason why I like played a lot of like Animal Crossing, for example, or like, yeah. you know, again, like Pokemon. It's like, you, you can't- You'd put Animal Crossing in like the, the top, nine in your life? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Damn, okay. Because- Every, like this one in particular. Wild, 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 yeah, honestly. <laughs> wild, wild World specifically, because I was fucking obsessed with the DS. And this was one of the few oh, DS this is the games. DS one? This is the DS one. I was gonna say, cause I heard a lot of like, you know, uh, now that I've, now that people have like calmed down about Animal Crossing mm, the newest yeah. one, I've heard a lot of people being like, you know, it is good. <laughs> but it does feel like it's lacking in a lot of ways yeah. and that they're adding in the functions that were in the previous ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. literally all like, the add-ons that they're currently adding they had now, in it's all in yeah, Wild yeah, World. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so okay. like- okay. This is gonna sound so like, boomer or not not boomer, yeah. but like, what is the point of Animal Crossing? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I I feel like <laughs> I, I'm trying to understand why there's like anti vaxxers when I'm watching. This I'm like, I like, I hear, I hear what you're saying. I get it, but I, I'm seeing it and I'm like, I don't get it no, at all. I I totally get people, which is why I was really shocked at how popular the newest one got. Yeah, because to me, Animal okay. Crossing, a lot like Harvest Moon. Yeah, I always thought was like that one mm -hmm. niche series where it's like, yeah. if you weren't into it from the beginning. Doesn't matter how many new games they bring out, you'll never get into it. I mean, like the more people talk about it, the more I'm just like, well, this is just a pay your mortgage simulator. Yeah, so, <laughs> so I, I, I watch it and I'm like, okay, so you go hit that rock and then you, you get some stone, okay. And then you go and talk to a guy who gives you a, a recipe for something that you yeah. didn't want. And then you go and make that thing. And it's like a cabinet that you might yeah. not need. And yeah. then I'm yeah. like, and then I'm confused. And if then, you don't want it, you can sell it. And, and yeah. then everything is just seems so slow. And of course it's Nintendo. So shit is just unnecessarily complicated and convoluted. Yeah. <laughs> like I saw someone going to like uh, someone else's island mm. and it took like a minute of like cutscenes to go to someone's island yeah. or something. Yeah. And then like everything just seems slow. In it. And I was like, why is but, this fun? I think that's the entire point of Animal Crossing. It's supposed to be slow because it's not oh. supposed to be like, I feel- I hate games oh, that make me wait. I hate games that make me wait. Like <laughs> oh, it's artificial it's the, waiting. It's the slice of life of video games. It is a hundred percent. It is like that's why Animal have... Crossing, Sims, uh, fucking uh, Harvest Moon. See, I, I it's get all fucking like slice I, of life. I, I get the Sims though, right? Because you're kind of like you're kind of trying. You you're, you're kind of like living a life I that maybe that, that maybe you couldn't like live in real life. You know right? what's really weird? I never got into the Sims. I, I never always, got into the Sims. I always either. thought Sims was really boring. Yeah, it's which same is there. weird because I'm an Animal Crossing. Because because the thing is, I really like simulation games, but I've never like never a life simulator game. No, I've always you know like what it is. You know why I never go into The Sims? Why? Because it wasn't cute. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I, I understand that. Honestly? You look at Harvest Moon, you look at Animal Crossing, you're like, that's fucking adorable. I, I was I was never into Sims, but like when I started voice acting, I know this is a weird tangent. <laughs> yeah. Like I started seeing Sims voice acting projects everywhere. <laughs> Like really? people making their own movies in Sims. This was a huge thing. Oh like, yeah, like yeah. machinima. Yeah, and yeah, I was yeah. just like, "What the fuck? This is ugly and it looks dumb." Yeah, and it's like the animations of Sims, are like, 
Yeah. Uh, and then they would, be, you'd have to like voice act to it. And I'm like, I'm not, I'm not <laughs> auditioning for that shit. What the uh, fuck? Uh, I don't know. So I, 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 I feel like that's part of the like old age of the internet. There's, yeah, there's, some, there's some campiness to it that yeah. I feel like has its own charm. Yeah, right. absolutely. They would be like, it's like this Oscar worthy <laughs> drama performed via Sims animation. And it's like, what the fuck? But I think that's the whole appeal, right? Because when uh, Animal Crossing first came out, right. I think I read this somewhere and, and correct me if I'm wrong internet, but I think the whole appeal of Animal Crossing was it was supposed to be marketed towards housewives in Japan right. who wanted something to do as you know, their husbands or significant others were out working all day. Yeah. That's literally how they marketed it. Because it was like, it was a non-challenging ah, game. No, literally it was like, it was a game where it was like- it's, are, you, are you tired of being in the kitchen all day? <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> it's like, it, because it's it's so not challenging and yeah. also it's non-stressful either. Yeah, it's right, like, it's right. a game that like literally gets all your stress off yeah. because you forget about everything in the in the in your real world. Yeah. Where you can just focus on a completely separate, just, there are no, you know, stresses or no, I guess like bad things to happen with yeah. like any consequence whatsoever in this world. Right. So it's, it's, it's literally Nintendo was like, I'm gonna create a distraction for stressed adults <laughs> and call it Animal Crossing. Because I remember my first and only experience with Animal Crossing was the original Animal Crossing on the GameCube. Right. And the only reason I knew about it, right, was because I don't. I think for the longest time it just wasn't available in the UK. Like yeah. they, it was only available, like they translated it, but it was only available in the US. Yeah. And I had heard about it from like this Nintendo gaming PC. I don't know, not there. Yeah. Gaming magazine. Yeah. Gaming <laughs> magazine. Gaming magazine. That's what I meant to say. This Nintendo gaming magazine. And they were like, it just got like super good reviews. And I'm just like, holy shit! This must be a banger of a game. <laughs> every fucking review is giving this. Source. Every review is giving this five out of five. Yeah. And I'm just like, holy shit! This 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 is a must get game. Why is this not available in the UK? Right. Mm. So I literally had to like look up some like import websites and like <laughs> <laughs> no seriously, like I I had to import Animal Crossing from the US. Yeah. Buy like a specialized import disc yeah. where like because. Um, you, you, yeah, you, because um, old GameCube games were region locked, so yeah. you couldn't just put a US disc into a UK device. Mm. You needed a special disc that you needed to insert into the GameCube um, to to region unlock it, so that you could put Animal Crossing into yeah, it. Yeah. And so I had to research and do that to do that by myself with a very limited budget because uh, I, I didn't really have much of a budget to work right, with right. back then. Um, but I, I had I had saved up and I had brought Animal Crossing, <laughs> and I was just like. This is gonna be amazing, guys. Oh, this no. is gonna be an amazing no. game. <laughs> I've imported this game, which is fucking expensive to import a game. Right. And I bought like extra hardware on top of that just so I could play the game. Yeah. Cause every review said it was amazing. Yeah. And then I started playing it. And I'm just like, when's the gameplay kick in? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay. This is an awfully long cutscene. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, okay. Poor thing okay, I was, I, was, I was picking apples. I'm mm. just like, so I'm, I'm, the gameplay is going to kick in sometime. Right? I'm, right. I'm going to have a point to why I'm doing this because I, I expected it to be on the same level as like Pokemon right, or, so, or right, stuff like that no. when I'm catching stuff or I'm like I'm going on an adventure. Yeah, and I'm just like, okay, surely when I play pay off this mortgage, that's when the gameplay will kick in. So I play I play Animal Crossing and I and I and I fucking pay Tom Nook back or whatever the fuck his yeah. name is. I pay off Cheeky my cunt. I pay off my mortgage because I'm just like there must be a reason why every game uh, every magazine is giving this five stars, yeah. pay off my mortgage, <laughs> and then the game just continues. And then and Tom I looks like, here's another mortgage for you. <laughs> <laughs> no, what's, what's interesting is like, okay, because you like games like Banjo-Kazooie or like JRPGs where there's like a whole like collect, like a collecting element to it, right? Yeah, you like yeah. linear games more than open world and stuff like that? I, I do like linear games more than open worlds. Right. I, I like, I, I, it, it's funny because I feel like I do like the idea of open world games, but mm. if I'm gonna sit down and play something, then I'd much prefer linear games. Right, because one of my favorite aspects of Animal Crossing personally is like the whole like catching fish and bugs and collecting all the artworks and collecting all the furniture. Stuff. Like it's basically the collecting portion of it. Right. Whereas a lot of other people who play the game, you know, enjoy the whole like, you know, DIY, you know, creating your own amazing looking town, amazing looking house kind of thing. To me, yeah. that's like, second in line. Yeah, Number yeah. one for me is definitely like, I need to complete my fish index. I need to complete my bug index. Why, but, why, why do you want to do that? Because I got that love from playing all the JRPGs, mm. right? And right. like, and obviously six is up there because right. like there was that for six as, for me as well. But like, right. I think the reason why I picked six and I think why Final Fantasy six is my favorite, not only Final Fantasy game, but my favorite JRPG ever yeah. is yeah. because like, it was the first game where I was like, this is a work of art. 
Right. Like it, it, this is like not just a game. It's like the gameplay is like cool. You know, I've played all the previous Final Fantasies like four and one and shit like that. Right. The gameplay is basically the same, but six was the first time where I was like, I didn't know story could be this good. I didn't know game mm. music could be this good. Yeah. I didn't know you could have this much immersion <laughs> in a game. Yeah, where and I got to like the fight, like the fact that you know people still talk to this day about like the oh, final six. fight scene, right? Yeah, of yeah. Final like, Fantasy Six, like uh, Final Fantasy Six, I feel like it's overshadowed by Final Fantasy Seven. But everyone I know who's played Final Fantasy Six holds it higher than yeah. Final Fantasy Seven. I've always said the true Final Fantasy that's like Six is the true Final Fantasy fans pick. Yeah, yeah. Right, because it's like you're not persuaded by like the graphics quote unquote, because this was the last 2D Final Fantasy. Oh, sorry, seven is Roblox. So. Yeah, yeah, seven is Roblox, but people still put it on this fucking like pedestal of graphics, right? It's like, <laughs> what are you seeing? <laughs> and like, you know, don't get me wrong. Seven's also a good game. Yeah. Like, I also like seven, but six was, I don't know. There was something about it where it was like, this game could look like absolute shit. Right. And the story and the music and everything, just the immersion of getting into this world is so fucking well done. Yeah. Where it's like, I don't care how this game looks. Mm. Yeah. It was yeah, like, to this day, like the fucking battle theme, the decisive battle theme from Final Fantasy VI gives me a fucking hard on. <laughs> Every time I listen to it, it's like Persona 5 and Final Fantasy VI to easily have the best fucking battle theme music of yeah. any game. I, I mean, I can't comment really. I haven't played any Final Fantasy, so I feel bad yeah. I can't. Judge your there's opinion. a lot of there's a lot of Final Fantasy I could have put on. Yeah, like, I mean, like we, we, we've good. talked about hating turn-based battles. Yeah, yeah. I am yeah. I am regretting uh, not putting. I, I wish I put RuneScape on my list now. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm surprised RuneScape wasn't on your list. I, I completely I, forgot. I played RuneScape. That was like the first game I ever like had a membership for. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, maybe Club Penguin. I don't know. Yeah, Club Penguin was Club the first Club. one for me. Dude, <laughs> where was Club Penguin on my list? <laughs> Dude, going on those fucking tubes down the the <laughs> snow slope, <Yeah>. bro. <laughs> tipping the ice, becoming the, C, the CIA agent, as well. <laughs> bro. You're tipping the oh god, yeah. Oh, Rune, god. Runescape, like definitely, like when you say immersion in the world, man. I was so into those fucking quests and shit. Oh yeah, yeah. going to the, like Monkey Island and stuff. Oh my god, <sighs> so good. We should put Runescape on my list. Yeah, I, 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 I want to want to remake my three by three after talking to you yeah. guys about. I it. I could honestly well, make a three by three of like yeah. each console. Um, like, do, do you want to talk about Terraria at all? Terraria, okay, Terraria for me was like, so when it came out, I had already like known about Minecraft because Minecraft right. obviously came out before Terraria. Yeah, right? why, why is Minecraft not on here in Terraria? I, I, I thought you liked Minecraft more than Terraria. I think Minecraft for me is kind of like, I like it and it's a game that I can always come back to, but I don't think I was like as heavily into it as I was with Terraria. Cause right. like, I think Terraria came out when I was in maybe like middle school or high school or something. Mm. Okay. And the only ever time where I would spend, like I would not sleep right. and be in like a fucking Skype call with my friends in high school <laughs> was playing Terraria. Right. Like there were so many nights where after school, you know, we'd be on the bus home and we'd be like, all right, <clears throat> we're playing Terraria after dinner, yeah? Like yeah. 7, 8 PM? Yeah, that was me yeah, 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 all right, cool. Yeah. We all get on a Skype call and we fucking play Terraria till like 6 AM. Like, yeah. all right, see you in school in two hours. <laughs> like I had so many nights like that playing Terraria. Right. I don't know why. I could have <laughs> easily done that with Minecraft to be honest, but I think it's because, I don't know, there's something about like side scrolling <laughs> games that just, just just tickle my fancy. It looks fun. Every time I see Terraria, I'm like, yeah, that looks like fun. It's I mean, really, I, really I just, fun. Yeah, I mean, it looks Is there fun. a point to Terraria? It's kind of like- point, Is there a point to Minecraft? Yeah, it's like, it's kind of like the point of my, I mean, there is actually like a story yeah. where it's like, you have to go through and like, there's like a bunch of story dungeons mm. kind of thing that you, right. you have to discover, right? Yeah, and yeah. there is an end game. And it adds yeah. like a bunch well, of content for free, right? Oh yeah. yeah. Everyone's always like the Chad Terraria adding yeah. DLC for free. And stuff <laughs> yeah, like that. exactly. And I, think I, I think I have Terraria. I think I paid for it. Mm. I just never played it. I don't know why. It's really, really fun. And yeah. it's, it's, it's like Minecraft for me as well, where it's like, if I just need like a game to just kind of mindlessly play and just relax to, mm. then I'll either put Minecraft or Terraria on. Yeah. Man, I mean, yeah. it's just a- Other than that, just, other than that, it is the most vanilla three by three <laughs> I have, yeah. I, I've ever made. I mean, I, I mean, I totally understand why it's your three by three. Yeah. Uh, it's this is very, very much a Joey three by three. These are like nine games that I can always come back to, uh, and it's probably the most amount of time I've ever spent on any yeah. game. I wrote down a bunch of other games that I, I wish I could have put on. Yeah, uh, I think I did too. Like actually, Borderlands Two, I thought was really fucking good. League yeah. of Legends. Oh, I put I put Gary's mod on here. I, I, <laughs> Gary's mod. I to put, uh, maybe Portal Two. Yeah. Mario Party Two. 
It was oh, like fucking yeah. I, 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 I'm, I'm surprised nobody put Mario Party here because I wanted yeah. to talk about Mario Party. Mario Party, Mario Party 2. With that yeah. story mission, like oh, the challenge oh. mode. Hands down the best Mario Party. Uh, the amount of blisters I've gotten from Mario <laughs> Party, one, man. Right? Yeah. <laughs> My uh, God. Whoever designed the sick like- fuck. Sick <laughs> yeah, fuck. whoever designed the N64 controller, like he just hated humanity. He woke up and he chose violence, Yeah, man. Well, he, he would like put it into games where I'm like, I'm sure there's better solutions. Like, there <laughs> yeah. was like a, a, a rowing down the- uh, uh, rowing down a like a raft thing. Yeah, yeah. 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 The, the man just the man just saw an ergonomics book and just set it on fire. Yeah, like, for, like, like, <laughs> yeah, because yeah, like I said, with the rowing one, the the mechanic was you had to like go this way if you yeah. wanted the boat to go this way, or go the other way if you wanted to go that way. Yeah, I'm pretty yeah. sure that's if I, I might be wrong. I think so. And uh, I'm like, you could have just done literally anything else. Like, why did you have yeah. to like, involve you know, there's there? like L and R. Yeah, like right? yeah, yeah, anything yeah, else yeah, could have yeah. worked. Um, I think my I, favorite Mario Party 2 mini game was, I think it was on Mario Party 2. It was the one where you have to like, there was like, it was like Thwomp's Domino. I love that one. Oh, yeah, that was a good like, one. You yeah, have yeah. to fucking, no, you have to like mash A oh, no, oh. to like knock down as many like Thwomp's yeah, as yeah, possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love the one, the skateboarding one as well. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, the blow up the balloon. <laughs> And like as full as you think it can go. Oh, that was a good one. That, that was, was a good one. one. That was a good one. Uh, yeah. I just love the fact that like- Fuck the go-karting one. Go-karting <laughs> one fucking sucks. The one I love about two is just that it doesn't fuck around. It does not no, hold no, your no. hand. It's yeah. like, if you fuck up, you fuck up. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so good. Um, Pokemon Coliseum. Oh, oh. Pokemon oh. Stadium for me. On GameCube. The one with the story. Yeah. And we could yeah. catch other people's Pokemon, the dark Pokemon. I really, yeah, like, yeah, I got yeah. super into Pokemon Snap. Pokemon oh. Snap was- There's a new one coming out. Yeah, I know, so I know, I know. Oh, it's out today. Ah. Oh, is that? Oh, is it? Yeah, we're recording on the 30th of March. So oh, fuck. Wow, way, way too spoiled. Let's right. go. Uh, um, don't, uh, Professor Layton, I actually really liked those games. Okay. I played the first one. It was I actually really pretty good. Professor Layton. Yeah. And yeah. then I had an honorable mention for the worst fucking game I ever bought in my life. Yeah. What? Uh, and I completely regretted it. Wii Music. Probably what? the- You ever seen this game? No. no. Fucking garbage game. You, you had to buy it with a controller as well. So right. it was like 90 bucks when you were a kid. Yeah. So I asked my parents for it. Cause I was like, wow, look at Shigeru Miyamoto on stage fucking waggling the <laughs> yeah. You You get this game and literally to play the instruments, you just like waggle a controller and yeah. it sounds like shit. <laughs> And like, I've that's never, the whole game. I've never heard of that's it. The whole, I'm gonna show you it later. You're gonna be like- Oh, is that the yeah. one where you have to like conduct? You can conduct and it doesn't work very well at all. I think I've and seen And then there's one where it. you like can play a trumpet and all you do is just press the button and hold the Wii remote yeah, like yeah, this. Yeah, I think I've seen that. And then there's one where you play guitar and you just fucking, yeah. just fucking, it was garbage. I've seen like, <laughs> shit game. I've seen meme videos of it. Shit game. Yeah, for oh, me, not, oh yeah, go, go, go. Uh, for me, Horizon Zero Dawn. I mean, I, I feel that self-expansion. Mm -hmm. Anything with a good story and good characters. Yeah, yeah, Fire yeah. Emblem Three I'm Houses. Kidding. Yeah, um, I put Fire Emblem Awakening. Oh, okay. Yeah, that okay. one was really I good. I the gameplay more than the story in Fire Emblem. Yeah. I, I mean, I, the reason I put Three Houses on is because I'm eh about the gameplay because it's turn-based, but it was just Fire Emblem with Persona. And I'm just like- Yeah, literally. This, 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 this is everything I need. Yeah. Like this yeah. gives me a reason to game through, get, uh, play through the game. Uh, Metroid, Metroid Prime. Ooh. Uh, Ooh that's fucking that's incredible. That's cool. uh, and that was one of the few games where I was totally invested in the world. Um, and it went again, what I it went, it went against, uh, went against what I said before, because you had to kind of figure it out yourself. Yeah. Um, but the gameplay of that was so good that I, I, I wanted Clank. to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Walking Dead season one. I mean, that's- uh, Oh, that's this the- The Telltale game. Telltale. Wow. Yeah. wow. Um, that was, I mean, bruh. that was just, that was I mean, just a good yeah, story. It was good and then it became bro. I mean, it, it wasn't really a game. It was just a good story. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right. For me, uh, I, uh, Okami is up there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. that was really yeah. fucking good. Uh, yeah. Obviously I said Rhythm Heaven. Link to the Past, yeah. Wii Sports, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, Smash Bros Melee, obviously. yeah, of course, obviously. Of course. Um, and then like recently, like I, I recently just played like the two Bayonetta games. Yeah, those were really fucking good. To honestly, there's there's too many. Like, why yeah. why why do we have to just confine it to nine? Well, because you know you gotta have something to talk about. I gotta yeah, make yeah. like a five by five. Like, to I, be honest. like but none I've, of them are Sonic Riders. <laughs> 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 what I've realized after doing this episode is that um there are so many games that I love that I just did not remember. Yeah. Um because I I I, I go back to my comfort picks, but man, there's a there's a lot of games that. What's the one game that we're all gonna like? If we had to pick one game after today that we have to, that we're gonna go back and play. Red Alert 2. 
So uh-huh. SSX Tricky for me. Honestly, you didn't mention the soundtrack of SSX Tricky. So Cause the amount of time- It's like, tricky to rock, to rock, to rock, to rock, it's right on top, That's, that's what made that game so good <laughs> to play, so man. I, I, like, Cause I realized after, the reason I freaked out yeah. was because for the longest time, I couldn't remember why I wanted to learn snowboarding so bad. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, had, I had just thought that, you no, know, snowboarding seems cool. I, I would Are you like telling to me you didn't listen to the theme as you were learning to snowboard? <laughs> I did not. And uh, like- Missed like, opportunity. I, 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 like you had just reminded me. Yeah. SSX Tricky is the sole reason why I wanted to snowboard <laughs> so bad. And that's why well, I'm yeah, just like- Yeah, it's like Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 was the reason why I wanted to learn how to yeah, skate. Yeah, yeah. Right? I, I, I just blanked out that memory of my life. <laughs> oh, my fucking game. God. It's such my a good God. game. Damn. Uh, um, Dude, I mean, it wasn't on any of our lists, but I really want to play theme park world. <laughs> yeah. I, dude, you guys I'm, are sold me dude, on Dude, I might stream there. That like, yeah, legit, yeah, yeah, like yeah, guys yeah. would invest. But, oh my uh, God. So, I, many, I wanna, so many games to stream. I'm, yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna get you boys for Halo Wars with me. It'll yeah, yeah. For sure. Um, I mean, yeah, like, I, I think I think we've gotten a good taste of what our taste in video games yeah. are. I wonder, who are you more like, viewers? Are you more of a Garn, a Connor, or a Joey? I wonder. Oh, it's yeah, let us know down in the comments. Who is the best taste and why is it me? Why is it Sonic Riders? Why is it Sonic Riders? <laughs> Battalion Wars 2. Why is it the best to be fair, game? Sonic Riders is a good game. <laughs> it's fucking good. I'll fight anyone. Yeah. I uh, like how this has probably been the most civil episode yeah, regarding very, our taste. Very, it's like the uh, anime, <laughs> your dog shit gaming. Ah, uh, yes. You raise, <laughs> you raise great points, guys. Ah, yes. Sonic Riders. I, I totally um, respect yeah, your opinion. I not get more shit for that. I thought I was going to get fucking, no, like, fucking great, dunked dude. on for that. What the fuck? I think it's because not, me and Joey aren't true gamers. So no, we're just like true gamers. We're too casual. For this <laughs> we're too casual. God. But hey. Let's give a special thank you to our patrons. Look at them. They're all these beautiful people. Wonderful. Gamers, gamers, (laughs) pro gamers. So many of them. Had to throw in one Naked Jakey reference there, didn't you, Joey? Just just had to do it. Of course I did. (laughs) But hey, if you'd like to support the show, then make sure to go over to our Patreon, patreon.com slash trash taste. Also follow us on Twitter, send us your memes on the subreddit. And if you hate our faces, listen to us on Spotify. Yeah, um, there's nothing, nothing else to say. Go game. Yeah, go game. <laughs> go game. <laughs> Good, <laughs> goodbye, gamers. Hope, hope you're listening to this while playing every game we mentioned for optimum gaming experience. You've Honestly, just, you've just swapped yeah. the cartridge when we mentioned the game. Yep. So, <laughs> all right. Well, I guess uh, yeah, that's yeah, it. There's nothing it. else to say. See you go later, game. gamers. Bye. See you, gamers. See you, gamers. <laughs> no wait, rise up, gamers. Rise up. <laughs> R- rest, gamers. Rest. <laughs>